got him. It translates also to mobility. It translates as well to movement. Let me, okay, let me do this. Let me, I'm doing the thing. Let us, let us commence Runus. And continue this conversation while also commencing Runus. It is a new week, so I'm going to go just look for penguins while we talk about stupid shit so I can dump these lamps into agility. That carries over to movement. Whether it's like walking or sprinting like a madman or trying to turn a corner or jump or whatever. The little dingus just doesn't understand how to use his back legs right. To the point where he... The faster he goes... The faster he goes... Oh, cool. I can see him to the fence. The more his, his hind end... He'll, like, he'll Tokyo drift. He'll, he'll start fucking speeding east of the kingdom of Kandarin. What the fuck does that mean? Like, Catherby? He'll start fucking scooting because his back legs are pumping way too hard. Compared to how fast he's actually going and how his front legs are pumping. So... When he tries to stop, oftentimes abruptly, because he's a dumb dingus, he doesn't stop the back legs as good. So we actually, we thought he was blind when we got him. After we got him home for a little bit, we thought he was blind. Or just like, visually impaired. Because he would just run into walls. Hello, puppy. Like, just whole ass. Hi. May I help you, sir? Drop your stick. Would just sprint full bore into a fucking wall. Regularly. And I was... We were worried about him. Because I don't think your dog is supposed to do that. Maybe it is like Witch Haven. Witch Haven is not a bad idea. But now he just like... Doesn't really understand the concept of walking. Hang on, I saw a thing pop up and got excited. Does it really understand... Is that a different one? Is that the same one? That's the same one, okay. I feel like there was a setting somewhere in the right clicks for this that made it not detect the penguins you'd already detected. That'd be nice. Every now and then he remembers that we have a, a glass back door by running into it full force. Only scan for unspotted penguin spies. What the fuck did his turn done? Is that not the penguin I already... Is that a different... That, that's the penguin I already spotted, surely. There's no way that's a different penguin. Or does that just not mean anything? Device is currently configured to only scan for unspotted penguin spies. Holy shit, there's two of them back here. What the fuck? There's two penguins back here? Hey, puppy. Also, damn it, why can I... Look at the one from outside, but I had to come all the way in the house for that one. That's Penguin 3, okay? So that's not Penguin 2. It's Penguin the third. Zagreus, you gotta entertain yourself, man. I gotta stream. You gotta go do puppy stuff. I can't pick you up. You're gonna be a huge nuisance. I already know how this goes. I've played this game before. I put you on my lap. You're just gonna be annoying. Give me a penguin. No, oh, it doesn't seem witch haven -y. Has this rock been here the whole time? <laughs> Figures. You just gotta hang out, bud. He's a very needy puppy today. It's okay. Sometimes he is extra sad. And he requires love. 
but since the train wreck quest. Okay, okay. No, oh, well, yeah, that's because that's the quest where it. That's the quest. Hey, if you're if you're gonna bite, I'm not gonna pet you. No. Well, you're not being a good puppy. I'm not gonna pet you. Beast of Andrew. What the fuck does that mean? In the east of the kingdom of Kandarin. Kandarin's an extremely vertical kingdom. That does include, like, Port Hazard and Yanil, I think. Damn it. I got a shitty penguin, like, immediately. Shut up, Eve. I'm looking for penguins and playing with a puppy. This is, like, the least sexy activities I could possibly be engaging in. We're, we're actually bottomed out. Is he going to be on the fucking wall? He gets, he gets shoved in a locker again. <laughs> this is the penguin that regularly gets shoved in a locker right here. No. What does the east of the kingdom of Kandarin mean? What does that even mean? This is east of the kingdom of Kandarin. This is... Taking east to its logical fucking conclusion, but I mean, we're going there. I feel like I'd be in range to scan him if he was on that island. We should have... Yeah, I definitely would scan him. We should have a tinderbox emote here pretty soon. I saw Hexy's, uh... Progress pick. I saw Hexy's progress pick of the tinderbox emote. And I think I can confidently say this was a terrible idea. But there's no going back now. Now we just have to suffer with the decisions we've made. Hubris will be the downfall of mankind. No surer is that than in the idea of the uh, Hawaii tenderbox. It just needs words from you. Oh, well, I don't... Well, let's ask chat. Let's see what chat thinks. I didn't know... Oh, that was like a... That was what you have. And you... I, I didn't realize you were sending me that in a... Is this good capacity? Versus, like, we were doing things. This is our boy. The lock on the tinder box looks like a little fucking blip. <laughs> it looks like a. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think, Chet? What do you think? Because realistically, it's gonna be like. The Twitch about so it's gonna be like and it's gonna be like down here. <laughs> it's gonna be It's gonna be down here in this region. Maybe even like a here. Generally, cause it's a little twitch emote. I think it does its job. Because like you can't look at an emote like this. Because that's not that's not how the emote works. The emote looks like this. And I feel like it it gets its point across down here. Daggerus, I'm gonna pet you, and if you fucking bite me, you bit me immediately. Why? Well, I'm not gonna pet you. You're gonna put that together. You want me to pet you? That's not gonna happen if you're being bitey. I have no idea who this penguin is. What is this building? Hey, what the fuck is this? Has this building always been here? What is this? What the hell is this? Necromancer. There always been a building just labeled Necromancer right here? I've never noticed there was a building. Also, I give up on this penguin. So, uh, next penguin. Penguin three wins. Big tree surrounded by short people. Fair enough. 
You win this round, Penguin 3. Wait, can we still do this? I thought this was over. Oh, it is over, but you can still turn in your paper for a last couple piles of trash. If you really want a last couple piles of doo-doo ass. And a papaya. And some more useless ass oddments. There you go. Anyway. Came here for you. Bye, Zagreus. Big trees surrounded by little people. That is... Also, a fairly geographically large area. Dumb stronghold's pretty big. Pretty big place. Pretty big place with a lot of stuff. A lot of things going on. It's the necromancy, you know. These are your local friendly necromancy. Every town's got a nice little local necromancy. Yeah, we met We met our uh, our little bro uh, local breach held necromancer very early on in Age of Ashes. She seemed like a really nice lady. You know, up until the point we had to start stabbing her. You know, it happens. Life happens, get a helmet. Pangus. Next, Pangus. There's another... There's three of them in Ardoin? How many fucking penguins are in Ardoin? What the hell? This place is like penguin spam. They're setting up a fucking base here. They shoved them in a locker. Yeah, they shoved them in a locker. Do be what they do. I don't know how people manipulate where the penguin is. I don't know how they do that, but this shit is so annoying. It takes so long to get in here. Close the door. You gotta fucking close the door. Don't be an asshole. Leave the penguin in the closet. Island where brothers quarrel. Okay, well, we're going to... Jatizo. And Knight is not. This my dog is bored out of his fucking mind. Bruh, I play with you a large chunk of this morning. I also had to do a bunch of work. And you already went bananas. Then we went outside. That's true. It's better if they're locked and roaming. That's fair. That's fair. It's better if they're locked in a house and can't go anywhere. So east of... Yeah, I mean, I literally just gave up on east of Candering. Oh, is this what they do? They just literally stand on either side of it just to block... Is that all they do? Wait, Penguin 7 is also here? Oh, I see. And they just body block it until it happens to wander in the correct direction enough times to go where they want it to be? That's... insane. That's literally insane. The RuneScape player base needs help. If I were to ever start a charity, I would do it exclusively to provide therapy services to the people that play RuneScape. You guys desperately need help. Really, this is the Crescent Island, right? There's no way it's not Lunar Island. It's not a very big island, though, and I don't see a penguin yet. I don't see a penguin. I go all the way the fuck back here, because then I can just teleport back to the lodestone if it's not right. There's a bridge back here? You can go around the back? I didn't know that. I know there was a bridge back here. I don't think I've ever been by the back of Lunar Island. <laughs> I've never been over here. Why would anyone ever come back here? I may be the first person to walk on these tiles. Nobody in the history of RuneScape has ever circumnavigated the Lunar Island town. 
Um, okay. Oh, he's over here. Okay, so we know the deal with the wilderness. He gets two tries. I'm gonna look at the lodestone. I'm gonna look at the walk between the lever and majoring the bank. And I'm gonna like peep the lava maze. And if he's not there, I don't care. Because it's too much effort and I can't be fucked. So while we're doing it, I guess while I'm gonna go up there, I might as well bring a bloodweed seed. I'm going up there anyway. I might as well bring up bloodweed seed. Do a bloodweed harvesting. Thought someone was playing Tidy Chess made the coffee sound. Their phone notification. Oh, 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 oh. I see what you mean. No, yes. Yeah, so my phone factory defaulted itself a week or two ago, and I'm just. I just can't be fucked to reset up all my ringtones and stuff. It's such a pain in the ass. I'm just like, I, I don't care. Like, I'm already so annoyed that my phone fully factory reset itself and deleted absolutely everything. I'm already mad about that. And I just can't be bothered to redo everything I had on my phone. It even wipes, like, the Google backup and stuff. I have truly no fucking idea what happened. It was crazy. Like, everything was completely gone. I didn't have Bran as a contact in my phone anymore. Like, everyone whose number I've added to my phone in the last, like, two years. Three, well, it must be longer than that, because it was Bran, so it's gonna be, like, four years. I've had this phone for a while, I guess. I had long enough the case is falling apart. I should probably just, like, bring two seeds, because I don't do this bloodweed thing very often. I don't do this very regularly. Hey, do you want to turn these into things? Thank you. I don't know what this bloodweed shit does. Is he over here on dumbass island? He is not on dumbass island. He's in this corner a lot of the time. I think actually almost every time it's been Pingo in the wilderness, he's been in that corner. Hmm. Well, if he's not... Oh, there's the thing again. If he's not on Dumbass Island... I guess I'll literally just... What are you doing? I'm being attacked. He's attacking my feet. I don't necessarily think he's being an asshole or anything. My feet just happen to be there and he's trying to find a good post on which to, uh... Like, lay and chew on his rawhide. And my feet happen to be right there. Excuse me, 500 Cthulhu's. Slip on through here. You have a nice afternoon, 500 Cthulhu's. I wish you the best of luck with being 500 Cthulhu's. Ah, he is a lever this time. Okay. I'm going to go this way. What are you doing, dog? You absolute menace to society. While I'm in the neighborhood, I'd like some cosmic greens. Because I don't really want to rune craft them, A, because I just don't really want to rune craft. I haven't really done that in RuneScape 3 pretty much at all, full stop. Dog. Why do you choose now? You were. You were laying down. You're being so good. You were just chilling. You hanging out while I was taking a poop for like fucking 30 minutes. And as soon as I get up and go, okay, it's time to stream. 
Now. Now is the time where you are going to die. If nobody plays with you right now. Now. Could it not be now? Could it be a different time? What do we have left? Skipped east of Cannon. We can do one of these now, right? On an island, etc. Oh, I need to go there anyway. I wanted to go check out my Etsetarian brothers. I haven't checked in on them in a minute. You've sucked fake runes from animals. Yeah, I've done... Like, I have Cannon Rune Span. Not a ton, but like enough to have... Two pieces of the outfit, I guess. Which I, I think pretty much straight up contextualizes how long I've been there. Okay. On an island, etc. Well, first of all, I need to go talk to my, my boy. And then we'll go on a penguin exploration extravaganza. I think I've probably actually rune crafted like under 500 total runes. <laughs> And I'm 70 rune crafting, so I guess all the stuff they say about easy escape is true. Hold on, let me uh let me get myself in with the people real quick. I'm gonna go punch Cole Rocks for like 30 seconds. Next these fucking Skavens. Chat, I'm trying to convince the group idiot. There's no way I'll let you out immediately before I went to go poop. You can't have to go outside. You were outside like one hour ago. Your little puppy bladder's not that small. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to convince the group idiot mans. That we should play Deep Rock Galactic. On account of the fact that it was actually really fucking fun. And we're coming back with group idiot man here fairly soon. Possibly this week. I want to come back and I want to do Rocco Stono. I want to dig a hole. Plus, I can't help but notice that hypothetically, if we had the idiots and also Larkin, that's a four person team. I forgot how many fucking herbs came out of this shit. Good lord. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, wait, what the fuck? They don't give you, like, Guams and sh Maybe they didn't give you Guams before. Maybe it was Herolanders and Terramans. Or the two, like, dumpster leaf. Like, the dumpster lettuce that they gave you. That's so much shit. Give me these. I'm cutting these. Thank all that shit. I'll clean the herbs later, I guess. I really need all this coal. I think the answer is no. Why don't you guys get mahogany loganies? Just fucking top that off. I don't care. I have infinity money. Um, just can Eve. I walked. I walked past my wife's bedroom, and my tinderbox got jealous. I walked past my wife's bedroom. My tinderbox got jealous. That's the life that I live. That's that's what we have to deal with these days. That's the true RuneScape experience. Hello, Zagreus. God damn it. Hi, puppy. Maybe it's just close enough to his dinner time that he's commencing the eyes of sadness because he is hungry. And he wants food. That way. Are they in or not? I can't tell if they're in the wall. They're in the wall? Oh, you get in the wall right here. Ah. Good man closing the thing. You're a good lad. You all of these? North of the Kingdom of Mistlin. Do I give a shit about North of the Kingdom of Mistlin? North of the Kingdom of Mistlin is just like, go fuck yourself as a penguin. It's 
Although East of the Kingdom of Kandarin is now a strong competitor for go fuck yourself and penguin form. But the Tinderbox wants a three-way. Tinderbox just wants to get in on that action. She wants to be included. She just doesn't like feeling forgotten. I guess what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk. Like a little bit of a lupus around North Varric, and then I'm gonna say fuck it, I don't care. I don't care for one penguin. Nord missile on my lumber yard. That's true, that is frequently the lumber yard, you're right. You're right, that is frequently the lumber yard. I like how this door exists only to block surge. Because you can click through it and you'll automatically walk up to it, open it, walk through it, and then keep walking without having to re-click. Here's the lumber yard. It is basically. I think it always ends up over here. So does it spawn in there? Because it doesn't matter how much they body block it. They can't get it in the fence, right? What the fuck? What the hell? Oh, do I not qualify for this one? I went too far. I can't do 11. I can only do up to 10. Okay, I can't do 11 and 12 yet. I thought I had all of them now, but or I thought I had all of them but the last one, but so I have everything but the last two. You can tell by the fact that that's not a penguin. Zap. <laughs> He's already been fully zappoed. Okay, uh, let's go. Da da da, Kender Monastery. How many penguin points did I end up with? 26. Oh, baby. I can get several of lamp. I can get more than one of lamp. Multiple lamp action. Three of lamp, actually. I would like to buy three of lamp, please. It's that time again where I desperately want to make a number get bigger. Today's number is agility. Agility, please get bigger. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a, it, did, it got bigger. Mission accomplished. The number hasn't biggened and it is also like kind of sort of close to it was like kind of almost two levels i gotta get this bitch to 77 oh i gotta get this to 77 and i don't unlock anything better than hats oasis on the way there ah <sighs> 80. 80 is the next course we get. I mean, there's one at like 77, which is A, the number that I'm trying to get in the first place, and B, requires Plague's End, which I'm pretty sure is Song of the Elves. Well, it's one of the Song of the Elves. There's like two Song of the Elves. I don't know which one is Song of the Elves here. I don't remember which is which. We looked through them all earlier. Let me go back to my regular world just because I like chilling on Hundo. Take me to Hundus. Let's look at the things we have going on this week. It's not a ton. Song of the Elves and Songer of the Elves. I gotta dump this in a Fernace. There's one of those over here. I know that. I know how our Dugney works. There's a Furniture over here. I wish my phone would stop. Just The biggest motivation that I have to bother going through the effort of Putting the custom sounds back on my phone is because the default ringtone is like loud as fuck. It's it's such a like weirdly shrill sound on that default notification. But unless you turn it down to basically inaudible, it still sounds like it's loud. It's like Larkin screaming. It's not actually volume. It's just shrill and irritating. 
I mean, I suppose the purpose is to be attention getting. All right, first off is science. Invention, categorically science. I just want to see what this does. I want to see what we got going on here. So we did eventually figure out how to make all three of our basic tools. We got automated fishing rod, we got sexy tinderbox, and we got Boinkus the Bonger. Boinkus the Bonger could probably use a second gizmo. I, I don't know. Yeah, I should probably give it a second gizmo. I'm just lazy. But one of these three things is connected to a skill that is extre an extremely AFK gathering skill. And that is Sucky Sucky the Fishing Rod Automatic. Which is level 10. Because honestly, that didn't even... That didn't even really take that long in the grand scheme of things. I did discover a couple of interesting things about leveling up items. The level XP curve, curve for items is fucking wacky. As you can kind of see already just from like the item XP on the way to 11. It's, it's almost like 50% more total XP per level. It's kind of a wacky curve. Which makes me feel like this is never, ever, ever going to be level anything. Because although the wise perk does affect like everything that I'm doing while I'm holding my slutty tinderbox, it does not actually give the pyromatic XP. I think only literally the act of setting a log on fire gives the pyromatic XP. The burn of the evil tree wilderness event doesn't count. I pretty sure it's just take log right click light log is the only action that gives this experience and it gives it like two but since your ass is 10 it's gonna give that's apparently the point where you get the maximum extra invention xp for disassembling quadruple materials and you get the gizmos back which is cool because our gizmos are kind of cool. But we also get a guaranteed uncommon material. So that's neato. Um, I have never in my life looked at my power because until I open this menu, I'm going to level with you. I forgot that was a mechanic. Uh, so clearly the amount at which it drains is a degree of negligible. <laughs> I'm going to guess that's probably based on the levels of the gizmos you have. And since I'm like low level invention, I'm gonna guess is why I keep getting like one and twos on my perk ranks. That or I just need fancy materials or both. This does not seem to siphon fucking anything. Anyway, I'm disassembling this now. Um, I imagine that 40,000 item XP is going to transition into invention XP, and that's probably how you get invention XP. I mean, that's... <laughs> Hold on. Squiddy pool. I mean, I wasn't wrong. But that's... Good fucking god. That's a big fuck... What's my total invention XP right now? Hold on. Oh, no. Hey, King Tuck 52 You're the shiniest squidling. Hold on. I can't, I can't get my tentacle right now. I hope, I hope you understand. 
I, I can't. You are the shiniest squidling. No, he is the shiniest squidling. But I can't. I can't take the tentacle right now. The puppy is comfy. The puppy just claimed it is his own. What's my. Okay, cancel. What is my current event? I'm gonna do that, obviously. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I have 324,000 adventure XP. <laughs> hey guys, I figured out how to level invention. Invention is actually fishing too. It's the, it I know it doesn't look like it, but invention is actually fishing too. Okay. Holy fuck. This is gonna get like, like eight levels. Because your XP, it's it's double your total XP every seven levels, right? 450, 460k, I have 324k. That's well over double. This is going to be like, this is going to be eight or nine levels. This might get me to 40 invention. This might just be 40 invention immediately. Holy fuck. I will receive fuck ton of invention XP, quadruple materials. What do you even get for this assembly? That's what's normal materials. Oh, so that's nothing. Quadruple materials is straight up nothing. Um, and an uncommon, and I'll get the gizmos bag. Yep, eight levels. Okay. Oh, junk chance reduction. Oh, that's going to be nice. Junk chance reduction will be good. So we've got some research to do the table. I think the research at the table might give me 40. 40 is pick a specialization, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, 40's... Okay, we're almost uh, to goblin or gnome engineering. Oh, well, first off, I need to make another fishing rod. Which I'm not sure I have the stuff to do. I need... Oh, right. We have to do this. I forgot. That's... That, right. I forgot about this. Okay. So, yeah. I'll, I'll do that later. That This shit's boring. Um, We can go raid the Warriors Guild. I'll just start raiding the Warriors Guild until I have enough of those again. Because I don't want to... We, we did that previously by just sitting here and smithing shit until I got him, and unless we want to bang, on, bang, on, bang on. for 40 minutes, then again, again. Cassandra Lee's stream is about to be denoted by Bing Bong and not by the Lumbridge Cow Pan. I think we've gone into, like, phase two of the cast stream, where it's not a cast stream unless I'm beating on a smithing anvil for 30 minutes. Okay, charge introduction. I haven't discovered anything in a while. Mostly because, like, I don't use this skill. Okay. How much XP are we looking at for this particular discovery? Not a lot. It's not going to get me to 40. Doing the three of them. Because they're all at the same level, so it's going to be all going to be the same XP. Uh-oh. Oh, that, okay, so those are probably both right. Okay. That went from no progress to done very fucking quickly. I had to click on these very slowly because every interface and menu in RuneScape 3 is very, very laggy. So you need to extremely slowly and meticulously click on these buttons. Okay, one of you is right. The little geary boy. Junk chance reduction. So I am just better at disassembling things now. Which is cool. I like that. Uh, 
wheel drive then? No, the wheel and the spring are both right. Come on. Where are you, little fucker? Is excellent or very good better? Excellent's better than very good. One of you two is not right. There it is. Covered a new invention, nightly components. You can now add this material to a gizmo shell. Okay, I do have those materials. So we would need to break down another big thing probably before we can do any more of this. My hammer's not far. My hammer's close. My hammer's at eight. So out of curiosity, since there is a con confirmation screen. Cool. Awesome. So it is like halved. Jesus. Okay. That's fucking wild. That's, that's a crazy gulf. Fucking 8 to 10 is a huge, huge fucking gulf. Good lord. Okay. 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 That's some interesting shit. I guess I'm gonna have to get some more of those uh, Swifty components. Welcome in, Saren. I'm gonna have to make another fishing rod, and I'm gonna have to go fucking suck start a Menaphos. <laughs> suck start a Menaphos. Suck start the ocean. It's up my fishing rod's level 10 again. 8 is half of 10 is the new 92 is half of 99. Yep. Accurate. Or I could just go on a smithing journey and try to get my hammer bing bong and up to 10. And then I can break that down. Either way, this clearly is the way in which you do inventional leveling. That's good to know. Anyway, wheel time. Why isn't the wheel spinning, Saren? Saren? Give her a sec. Give her a second. What does the wheel say? What does the wheel say? Where are we going? Is it gonna spin the pink? No fucking way. Ah, oh. indeed. No fucking way. Reaper desk. Off we go to commit die. Off we go to commit the end of things to something. There's no. Oh, if it fucking spun pink immediately. What's pink? Pink is a hint. Pink is a hint like I. like I finished a chapter. Immediately. Right now. Right there. Hintage. Okay, so I don't remember what my assignment is. So give me a new one. Four king black dragons. Yep, pretty sure I can handle that. I'm gonna go beat him about the head and shoulders with a murder weapon. So, right, the, the portal doesn't even work for this freaking black dragon. Never mind. Well, let's touch this first, and then I'll teleport out. What I learned in boning school is the prey mage thing. Only seems to work on the shittiest possible dragons. So I don't think it worked on KBD. Would it be better at this point in my life to just accept getting my sphincter torched and just drinking an anti-fire and taking like a bunch of damage, but also killing him way faster because I can use the Bainite ass whooping stick 
or do I go in there with one one-handed weapon and the fucking anti-dragon shield and kill him very slowly over the course of 40 minutes? I'm gonna go feed him about the fucking head and shoulders, and then if he does... I have decided, by the way, I dressed myself this morning. <laughs> so I got a spiritual mage's task and didn't really consider that that was different from spiritual warriors. But the theme of the dragon stuff now being like plus damage armor is continuing to happen. So that's weird. The leather skirt's kind of weird. Yeah, Mithril 2 isn't a great looking armor set in the first place. But now, I get to maximize how much of an absolute clown I look like. Put that on, put on my spicy cape. Put on the, this was a bad idea, diamond. Put on the oopsie poopsie. What? I didn't mean to click that. Oh, and that closes your whole bank. Cool, I meant to click this so that I can do that. Give me that, give me that, give me one of these. Give me one of these. And then just like, fill my shit with fucking catfish i don't care i'm just gonna go whack him until one of us dies oh yeah transmog outfit yeah it lasted like six minutes and then i got bored make sure you call kvd a bitch before he hits you i should probably bring a prayer pot huh unless i want to come home every attempt i'm already lazy and don't want to do that So this hopefully will kill him with a generalized quickness. Because instead of just paddling him with a single one-hander, I'm going to beat him like a red-headed stepchild with the red-headed stepchild beater. How much is an instance? Oh, wait, I get one free per week, right? So I'll just, like, go to normal. Yeah, I'm taking an apple. Fucker. Eat me. Frankie, 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 Frankie. Put all this shit on. Kick him in the fucking face. Oh yeah, he's gonna hurt me like a lot. But I'm also not gonna be here for 20 minutes, so you know. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. The sacrifice being Cassandra Lee's fucking face. I'm absolutely willing to sacrifice her forehead for the cause of not being here for 20 minutes. Look at the rate of- look at the fucking speed of the slapping! We can almost out-slap him! It's a pretty judicious ass whooping. Good shit, everybody. This is way faster. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, one dollar! This is way faster. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and just, like, take being horribly burnt by fiery breath. I'm okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm just going, scorch me up, my guy. Nice and toasty. Nice and fucking toasty. Give me the business. Interestingly, interestingly, the line about being horribly burnt by dragon fire isn't showing. Ah, he blocked the defense down. This is going to be a way slower attempt. The line about being horribly burnt by dragon fire is not showing up that often. So I wonder if only one of his attacks is actually dragon fire. Even though it's like poison dragon fire breath and shocking dragon fire breath, I wonder if only the one that's just like dragon fire breath is actually dragon fire breath and the rest of them are just like fake dragon fire that wish they were cool damn I slap man he went bane plus four not arms to head chance I wouldn't be surprised if it was he's a boss 
I imagine 100% hit chance is like... I mean, well, clearly it's not unattainable because you're surprised by the fact that you can miss. So clearly it's just baseline after a certain point, but I would be extremely surprised if I had 100% hit chance on anybody that wasn't like just a Slayer monster. What makes Dragon Fire special? Well, it's like, God damn it, I missed the defense down again. It's like fire, but it came out of a dragon. So it's like the difference between Taco Bell fire sauce and Diablo sauce, you know? Like they're both hot sauce. But they're different, you know, like tiers of hot sauce. One of them's just kind of like a little bit warm. And one of them turns your butthole into a water fountain. Damn, I could hit freedom, but I don't wanna. I wanna walk over here and collect my stuff, thank you. Two dollars! I'll take the random shit off the floor. I'm a trash goblin, why not? Uno must. Bigger damage number. But I got 80 attack. Here's this, by the way. Because I haven't showed this off yet this stream. Here's where we're at in this department. I got my attack up so that I can wield this Bane whooping stick. Which is a nice little weapon. It do be whooping pretty hard. I haven't made the one-handed weapons yet. That's next on my agenda. I guess I'll do that to level up my hammers some more. Maybe get that to 10 and get another fucking 459,000 inventing XP. He's really not fucking me nearly as hard as I expected. I expected to, like, get an incredible cheek clapping coming down here without an anti-dragon shield. This is kind of making me wonder. No, probably not. It only works because I'm blasting him with a level 80 dude pedal. Okay, dragon paddle. Mission accomplished. I hope you enjoyed your will content. Um, this is the main, main attraction. I know what you're thinking, Squid. I thought it briefly. I thought it briefly. And then I said... That's probably dumb. And then put the thought out of my head. But yeah, yeah the, you know, his girlfriend. Um, I've tried two things in the time since the last RuneScape stream over the weekend and whatnot. The first was just getting... Oh, the second was just getting 80 attack and wielding a Bane Paddle. The first was, can I drink a potion and then wield a Bane Paddle? To which the answer is no. <laughs> you cannot drink a potion that makes you better at holding a cool sword. You do, in fact, actually need to have 80 attack. Fine. I have 80 attack. I don't remember if incremental wood cutting went up at all. Um, I've been be, uh, big game huntering. It's just fun. I like doing it. I realized that we're one off one of the most iconic things in all of RuneScape, which is getting a whip from a whippy boy. Which does, theoretically... No, I guess the Bane's level 80 weapon, so it would actually be better than the whip. Man, this game 3 is weird. I'm starting to see why, like, people who have real nostalgia boners don't like this game. Because I don't even have... I have zero nostalgia for this game. I, I didn't really... I played it in, like, middle school free-to-play briefly. But... Getting a whip and then going, Wow! This is worthless! Would be... I feel weird for someone more in tune with the, the RuneScape ecosystem. Because I can just go smith something dramatically better. I almost got 80 fishing leveling up my uh, fishamajig. And then I went on a fucking cooking rampage so I have some fish. I have an incredibly fucking high burn chance on Beltfish. Like, it is crazy high. It's like 30%. It's really, really fucking high. It's like old school RuneScape cooking sharks high. Which is a little weird, because I thought they were lower level than green blubblers, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? 
Also, I learned just now you can apparently cook the dinosaur meat. That shit better be like a life-changing religious experience. Also, you stop burning it two levels after you learn to cook it. What the fuck? What the hell? You learn to cook. Oh, wow. Why the fuck would you ever do this? Oh, does it have to be cooked to be baked? No, because you use the raw sharks and stuff as bait. Why the fuck would you ever do this? This has to have some kind of a purpose. This has got to do something. Huh. Can we kill King Black Dragon? What armor was you wearing and what melee weapon? I You do not need this kind of gear for King Black Dragon. This is just the smithing stuff. I just have the smithing bane gear and whatever random dragon pieces that have dropped. You can... If you go to King Black Dragon and you put on this, you're gonna be fine. He's... You don't, you don't need this. He's, he's not a big boy. I went in there with no dragon fire protection just because death told me to kill him four times and I wanted it to go faster, so I let him just char my ass. He's, yeah, like, you, if you bring in, like, level 60 gear, you could probably deal with 50 gear, but it'd suck. Uh, if you went in with, like, any of the level 60 smithing gear and, like, an anti-dragon shield, you'd be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. He's not, he's not a, he's not a scary boy. Anyway, these have got to do something. These have to have some kind of alternative purpose, these these meats. Stop burning cake is 74 cooking? You How do you burn curry? How do you even do that? It's It's not a solid. The fuck is a pork pie? No, it's not terrible, honestly. They're the same level, actually. Okay, I was wrong, but only technically. Green blub- it's just blubber. I don't know why- I keep, I keep thinking it's like bubbler or blubber or something. I try to say bubbler and my brain goes stupid. It's just blubber. Green blubber jellyfish and bellfish are the same level, but I almost never burn green blubbers, and I burn like 30% of beltfishes, which is why I haven't cooked through the stack yet, because I want- I kind of want to have a little bit higher cooking because I burned them so bad. I'm destroying so much of this crap. But I have a stock for now. I have, I have, I mean, we'll be fine for the foreseeable future. This is the biggest load of cooking I've done on the account. These are legally better than sharks. By uh, technically. They're better by technically. Okay. Let me see. Let me go back to my list. All right, so disassemble fishing rod complete. Next task. Okay, so this was an this was born of an accident. So this spirit emerald has 40 charges. Because I accidentally activated a second spirit emerald and went god damn it can I just, like, use one to top off the other and then throw the half-empty one away? I don't want to use two bank spaces on this. And it actually just mashed both of them together and doubled their amount of charges. So I'm kind of curious how many times I can do that. Also, there's a forge. I didn't even see that before. Okay, this is not even what I was going- What the fuck? Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This isn't even what I, what I came here for. I went here to use this on another one. You can trade these fuckers up? You trade these up? They go to diamond. <laughs> I bet diamonds probably drop too. They're just like giga fucking rare. Well, let, okay, let me make a diamond. This wasn't even what I meant to do. I made a butt diamond. 30% chance, so you're 40% chance. You have a forge? No fucking way, is it? Hold on. <laughs> it goes to Dragonstone! Does it go to Onyx? 
No fucking way! How high does this go? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah. Okay, I should probably stop doing that. Oh no, that's well, man. I can I can use I'll use all the shitty ones. Like get all the fucking Kaido with noted. This is crazy. Okay, Kaido with noties. Okay, can I forge noty boys? Oh. You suck. Like, I'll forge all you. We'll forge up all the doo doo. That's a damn it, that's an even number. Okay. Go, go, gadget exponents. Um. Okay, you're going. I'm never using you again. Goodbye, you trash. Uh, you can go here. So you would make 10 rubies, which would make three diamonds, which would make a second dragon stone. Uh, why don't I do this? Why don't we just forge everything below ruby? Seems like a reasonably decent idea. Just do... Goodbye! <laughs> and then we'll use this for probably just blue charm specifically and then rubies for everything else. Okay, that's neat. That was a cool thing. That wasn't even what I meant to do. I wanted to see how many of them I could smash together to just have a bazillion D charges. How many charges does this have? I might as well activate it. I'm only going to have one. I think it activates it immediately, right? It's got 50 charges. So that's gonna burn out very quickly. Okay. So trading up, trading up is a massive sacrifice of total charm saved. Like a massive sacrifice of total charm saved because it was nine of these, which would be 270 charges. So 270 charms saved or 50 charms saved. I thought this was going to be at least like a hundred. At least like a hundred. Fifty's crazy. Um, but you're more likely to save them. So you, this, I'm only, I would only, only, only ever use that on the highest tier charms. There's also like these weird ones. Maybe it's only worth using for like the weird ones. I don't know. I don't train summoning ever. I've only ever trained summoning when it was a daily. Speaking of, do I need to have dailies that need to be bonked? Nope, we're good there. Are there any darts in this? Nope, I don't care about this week's rewards. Okay. Oh, that's what we should do. We should go throw a dart at a guy. Um, so... So I'm down to two darts. Because I've just been going over and throwing a dart at the Calphite King every day. Talking to Raptor, being like, hey, what's up, buddy? High five, triple my dart. And then going and throwing a dart at a guy. And just kind of assuming the interaction works the way that I hope it does. Um, I don't know if it interacts the way that I think it does. Not, not sure. But we're down to dose. Calphite King was not... The guy I wanted to throw darts at. It's just everything. I mean, he looks like he's a decent alternative. This looks like a lot of melee weapons, right? This looks like a lot of stabbers. These might be crossbows. It's hard to tell. Melee weapons are the least valuable drop because I can just fucking make those. So, like, sure, they'd be cool, but... We just fell back on him after everyone else I wanted to throw darts at just kind of fell through. I think this guy would be the best, but he just is straight up immune. There are a couple other options. We ended up here with these 217 drops that look like they'd be useful. But I need one of these. I just noticed that has charges remaining as a tag on here, and that hurts me in my fucking soul. Ugh. 
this is going to be worse than I thought. But anyway, uh, on said spiritual mage's desk. Right. I'll fix that later. I got a Zamorak key piece. Very quickly, actually. I'm pretty sure I've these key pieces have just despawned on the ground like a bunch of times. Because I wasn't aware that we had items that are stealth from the interface user interface element that shows you the items that you can pick up. I wasn't aware that was a mechanic. Probably because it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. But now that I know that, this came out really fast. I think I could probably go get the other two. Pretty quickly. And then assuming I can just mash these together and it doesn't take like 90 smithing or some shit, I could theoretically go throw a dart at the next. Ever think you're going to start huffling the logs since it's actually in-game every consideration? I, mean, I definitely thought about it. I'm sure we'll get there at some point. I'm like, eh. Eh. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush to know everything. We got another baby dragon. I'm not in a rush to know everything. Someday, maybe it might, that's a chance at a breeding pair, possibly. Someday, when we've played RuneScape for a billion years, we'll know everything. And we'll never be able to come back to not knowing everything. That's a one-way street, you know? So, I'm gonna hang out here while I can. I'm, I'm really not in a hurry to learn things. But I would like some frozen key pieces. Also, I got a couple of interesting things. I got this. I got... I have a sneaking fucking suspicion. This is just another one of these. But I got one of these. I'm how many of these? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. But it just, it just looks like, it even looks like the purple scale tilted slightly to the side and recolored. This is sure, I'm going to click on this. It's going to show me 27 different level 90 sets I can craft with 98 crafting. It take 500 of them. Okay, it's only one. Okay, yes, but but also no. Um, is this the proto form of one of these? Didn't one of these make? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we did actually see this here. Okay, this is proto purple scale. Okay, no, wait, no, wait, that's actually, no, this is more interesting than I thought it was. This is the version that I could ever conceivably use. If you ignore the level 90 range requirement, this is end the level 91 crafting. I mean, you can potion to that, but. I don't know what Algarum Thread is. And obviously I don't have a reliable source of these. I've gotten one ever. <laughs> just fell out of a dude's pockets in the God Wars dungeon. So they don't seem to be terribly common. It's possible this is just a freak of nature drop from anything. A la nature talisman. I it's possible spiritual may just specifically drop them. I'm sure they're not the only ones, because that's... I mean, I don't know. This is ranged armor. It's, that seems weird. It counters them. I, I guess I can't go with, like, it drops from a wizard. Because if I use the logic that I'm like, oh, but it, it's connected to them in a triangle. It's a triangle. They're all connected to each other. There's only three points. That's not logic you can use. If it's not the same type as they are, it's prob there's probably not a relation. That, then that's the point against the relation. But this is not a huge number. I just don't know what all Garum thread is. Okay, you are a more interesting version of the things that I will never in my life use. Because maybe someday in my life I'll use you. I don't know what this is, but it just dropped. 
have researched these accursed creatures of Mithril more. The results are disturbing. Analysis leads me to believe they were created by a higher power. What sort of creature could be so powerful? Hey, thank you for reminding me what you dropped from, because I forgot. It was a Mithril Dragon. This dropped out of a Mithril Dragon, which is still my Slayer task. God, I kind of want to block them. Holy shit, they take forever. Um, in my logbook. I have a logbook? <laughs> Right, my lo my log book, my, my my book where I where I keep my logs, my little my little diary, my uh. Okay, uh, let's go finish my Slayer test. I want to go finish my Slayer test and see if I get something cool. I feel like I have a bunch of new stuff that I can unlock, and I'm I'm in a universe where I'm fairly regularly getting brand new Slayer tasks, so let's just see. I gotta kill 12 more of these assholes. How long could it take? How long could it take? 40 minutes? It's 12 Mithril Dragons. 40 minutes is the longest it could possibly take. It's probably only, I'll bet I could do it in like 38. I hate this task. This task feels like a Reaper task, but without the Reaper points. <laughs> I feel like a single Mithril Dragon is legitimately a bigger threat than King Black Dragon. <laughs> I don't know if that's an insane take, or if I'm just losing my mind after what feels like 30 hours down here to getting my asshole reamed by them. I have tried several things and I have decided that's why I decided to run at King Black Dragon with nothing but a potion. The reason is the strategy has been beta tested on Mithril Dragons. I forgot the fucking get prayer. The strategy has been beta tested on Mithy Boys. Because I can fight them for literally an entire day of trying to flick them with a shitty wand. Or I can just accept the mutual devastation of each other's buttholes and just go with nothing but an anti-fire potion and we'll just both rocket tag the shit out of each other. And at least make the task go faster. <laughs> Did you get like four assigned the first time? I was like, hey, it's too easy. Yeah, because he assigned me four. And this bitch is like, hey, go kill like 90. I fucking... <laughs> she gave me a regular task amount. I'm just never clicking on this shit again. I guess I've always got two choices as long as I have Slayer VIP thingies, which is... Somewhere. Hello. Fuck you. Oh, I should stand in melee. It makes it more likely he bites me. He seems like he's not fantastic at fighting. Ow. Toothpaste TM, thank you for the follow. We can rocket tag this shit out of each other. Idiot. I didn't even get to drink my potions yet. I got too excited. I didn't get to drink anything. All right, and I stand over here, because this is where the loot goes. Alright, I take a little suck of this. A little fucking glug of that. Throw this shit over my head. Hit this button. A little, a little preemptive. I just do stuff to him. He did not move. He stood his ground. Oh, then he moved for like no reason. Okay, fair enough. How Mel Dragons and Pathfinder was more probably than regular colored ones? I don't. I don't think so. I think in Pathfinder, it's more a deal of alignment, where you have colored dragons, which is uh, that is an outdated term, sir. The politically correct term is chromatic dragons. We don't call them that anymore. 
Uh, they are just the Sons of Dayhawk, and they are the evil aligned dragons. And then the metal dragons are Opsu's descendants and are the good aligned dragons. I think it's more of an alignment thing. I'm pretty sure... If they are not the strongest dragon total in Pathfinder lore, red dragons are extremely up there. If there's anything that's stronger than red dragons, I think it is only exclusively gold dragons. This is actually going... I don't know what the fuck's happening. This is going way faster. This is going so much faster. And they're not, like, ripping my butthole out. That I was doing this yesterday evening while I was working on more Pathfinder prep stuff. Why are you suddenly doing zero damage to me? We're, I mean, I'm okay with it, but, like, I was losing a, a health bar per dragon. He just decided to stop being a dickhead. Why is this going so much better than it was? I swear to you, I swear to you, chat, shit doesn't work unless I do it on stream. Like, shit straight up doesn't work unless I do it on stream. This game doesn't function the same way when a feed is not being sent to OBS. He flexed on their king so hard and neutered their species. I don't fucking know, man. I was just doing this yesterday, and it sucked way worse than it's sucking right now, where I'm having to kind of just eat for loot space. Yeah, I think I might be fast. He did not. The good dragons do an oopsie. Like, eugenics. Yeah, look, that's... I think that's a... That's a... Not the... That's a dragon. One dragon. One dragon went oops eugenics, okay? And it was like the... It wasn't the kill everyone you don't like kind of eugenics. It was just like the selective, federally mandated breeding program kind of eugenics, which is less bad, probably. <laughs> like it's... I don't know. Red and gold dragon is usually the strongest I've read up on, which is kind of weird. Because silver dragons should be the giga metals, right? Just me? Shouldn't silver dragons be Galarian's premier metal dragon type because that's what Opsu, the god of dragons, is? I don't know what to do with these chewed bones. I mean, I know I can go make a boat, but... It's, it's so much work to go to the Barbarian. Maybe I'll just bank him, and then when I've got a bunch of them, I'll just go to the boat on purpose. Because Dayhawk is a red dragon, so the super chromatic dragons are the red dragons. Because that's what Dayhawk is. So his more direct lineage are the strongest. So then why are gold dragons the strongest? And it's not because Herp Derp Gold Rarest Metal, because I'm pretty sure there's Platinum Dragons, too. And they're not as strong as Gold Dragons. I can't think of any decent reason. Yeah, I'll just take a fucking sippy of this. I can't think of any decent reason why the Gold Boys got the top billing. It's kind of arbitrary. Ancient Gold's 28 to Red's 19. Okay, so Gold is the, the beefiest. Gold do be the big beefers. I mean, I guess by Galarian lore, all of the chromatic dragons are basically corrupted because Opsu is the is the true is the true dragon of pure power, and Dayhawk like forsook that to make his flock of very angry chickens that are evil. So it makes sense that the strongest metal be strong, better than the strongest schematic. Tarn Little Arms, Ancient Unruled Dragons, Ancient Sovereign Dragons are all 20. None of those are dragons, except I don't know what a Sovereign Dragon is. So, like, maybe a Sovereign Dragon is. I don't know. Do I even reset? Yeah, reset. Are there any more of these fuckers? 
At least this has gone dramatically better than it was earlier. I really don't know why this is so much faster now. Hey, idiot. You walked. You fell for the classic blunder. Walking around till your feet were very spicy. Precious metals are not rare at all. Same with diamonds. They're scarce. He's artificial. Well, I mean, in the scheme of what? Because, like, on a, on a universal scale, nothing is rare. We are but specs. I was... I'm pretty sure, like, that's... That's a misrepresentation. Or a misunderstanding of the correct answer. Which is... Like, tangential to that? It's in the correct vein, but it's the wrong conclusion. Which is that they're not rare. It's they're not like that rare. Like gold's still rare. There's still not a lot of gold in the world. I mean, there's a bunch when we figure out how to like mine the mantle of the earth, then our, you know, gold stonks are gonna be through the fucking roof, but I think that's gonna be a minute out there. I don't think we're particularly close on that one. But, like, gold that we could realistically access, still pretty rare. Just not nearly as rare as it seems. Because jewelry industry go burr. Get two more of these fuckers, then we'll catch the butterflies. Butterflies. Just, I freed them in your face because I didn't hit the shit button. That's on. I just didn't hit it. That's on me. I fucked it. Universal skill, everything except hydrogen and helium is rare. Okay, look. Asshole. <laughs> do, you, you do not define rare by the commonality, the commonality of the most common things that exist. Less rare than the most common thing in existence is not rare. It's not as common as the other thing. There's a, there's a difference there, but you're not, I guess, technically correct. Legally correct, maybe. Okay, I keep putting the sharks at the bottom so I won't eat them. So they can go in my shark stash for later. Wins later? I don't know. When they stop being useful, probably. It's bosses. I've brought the sharks to things before. Stops do still have an active religion. I don't know. You'd think after running all of Age of Ashes, that'd be a question I have an answer to, but I don't. I guess drop Hell of Charms, that was kind of cool. Not actually sure. I could just walk to my Slayer Master. She's, like, right there. She's literally right over there. She's in the other room. Mom! Mom, did you see? Mom, I did it! Mom! Mom! Mom, did you see me? Mom, I did the Slayer Task! Mom! Mom, I did it! Ow. Oh. Now these are cool and exciting. Okay. None of those are cool and exciting. I think anything neat. Order of Ascension might be the least cool and exciting task in the entire game. Boink. I'm gonna put you with the rest of the boners. I'm put you in the bone zone. So that the ashes get shifted down a tier and then I forget I have them. Solid. I'm gonna go catch some fucking butterflies because Hunter XP. But the opposite thing, I don't know. Again, you'd think after finishing Age of Ashes, that'd be something I have the answer to. Well, time to catch some fucking butterflies, my boys. <laughs> I'm ready. I got my grabbing hands. <laughs> I don't need friends. I don't need friends. No, I don't need. To, I do shit by myself. I got little grabby hands. Fucking touch them. Snippy snappy claws. Made the concept sentient creatures are just born evil. 
makes sense. Dragons are arrogant. They're probably top every food chain, but all of them just being evil is dumb. Well, that's because you're thinking about sentient creature wrong. There is this big movement in, like, the tabletop community, and I absolutely hate it. That's like, alignment isn't real. You can do anything. Anyone can become... Like, no, shut up. Like, if... <laughs> Shut up, shut up your ass. From both a fucking narrative and world building standpoint, sentient creatures that are intrinsically unalignment have a huge variety of purposes because they're not a thing that exists. Like they're not a thing that there is in the real world. Like it, like fucking magic. It's not just like, this isn't an all pit bulls are aggressive situation. This is like a dragon's are beyond mortal understanding and traditional sentience and to operate with like such a connection to their progenitor Apsu or Dayhawk that the the influence on their judgment and their instincts is severe to a point where they are all to our perception intrinsically disalignment. Like that's that's the point. That's, that's the whole point. Also, sometimes you want like a War for the Crown Maxilar Pytharius. You want a How I Ran It Age of Ashes Scarlet Triad. Sometimes you want a nuanced multifaceted antagonist and an enemy that has motivations and has reasons to what they're doing and are in, in some cases you can even be sympathetic sometimes you want to ook ook unga bunga orc bad and then you have a world where orcs are bad and they're fucking Sauron-esque mentalities or leadership means they are just like puppy kicking child eating town burners and they are the bad and you fight them like they, they have different purposes there's different fuck I can't touch you there's different world building purposes there's different narrative purposes I'm really fucking sick of this alignment's not real. Anything can be anything. Like, sure, if you want to, if that's the, like, if that's how it, you, your campaign works, that's how it is in your world, cool. But, like, are you running my game? No? Shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> are you Paizo? No? Shut the fuck up. Goblins can only be weak, except in World of Warcraft. <laughs> that said, there is absolutely a lot more room for nuance and storytelling intrigue by having creatures that are intrinsically attuned to an alignment. The the whole I'm gonna get a little mild late Age of Ashes spoilers for the Chapter Six thing we just finished up recently, which in Pathfinder Gold Dragons are intrinsically good. They are lawful good. That's just, that's how they are. They're lawful good creatures. They are paragons of Apsu. And like the planes of Axis and Heaven. They are lawful good creatures. That is what made Mankare so interesting. Is because golden dragons are supposed to be these like paragons of virtue and righteousness. And he was basically building Nazi Germany. That was, that was what made his entire involvement in the story like a very interesting story process, a uh, very interesting prospect is the angle of his perception of everything. That was why it was cool. Because it wasn't just like a dude and you're just like, oh, you're evil, shut up, whatever. It was a gold dragon. And if gold dragons were just like, um, oh, whatever alignment I feel like today, bruh. 
that wouldn't have that would have lost all of that weight, I think. Does Paizo overuse that somewhat? Maybe. But that's the that's the first one of their adventures I've Age of Ashes is the first one of their adventures I've ran that had an alignment swap dragon in it. I don't think I mean I haven't run a ton of run what? Skull and Shackles of Adventure Paths and Friends. Skull and Shackles, Strange Islands, War for the Crown, Age of Ashes. Of those, only Age of Ashes. Only Age of Ashes had a uh, alignment swap dragon. It actually had two alignment swap dragons. But that was also kind of a big theme of Age of Ashes. Was things kind of reaching past their written alignment. That was a big recurring theme. It happened a bunch of times. Every other story is something intrinsically good turned evil. It annoys me the opposite ha never happened. Bruh, Zurich was literally also an Age of Ashes. <laughs> Zurich, the supposedly automatically evil chromatic blue dragon who was just kind of chilling and not really a dickhead, was. It was, it was the same adventure. I've done a hundred sacks, apparently. Many sack. They had they had dragons going both ways on that one adventure path. I just realized I'm really close to 76 prayer. So I'm gonna get 76 prayer really quick. Problem is that we're told certain creatures have incomplete or incomparable mental structures are alien to people. It's never really shown much in characterization. Dragons and pathfinding never crime across in personality as alien and how they thought for the most part. Well, that's because, you know, the campaign's being run by a human person who doesn't have 29 in, uh, intelligence. Because that's impossible. So you just do what you can. You do your best. It's one of the great challenges of, of RP. Playing a character that is vastly more intelligent than you. Anyone can go, her, her, look at me, I'm a stupid six inter. It's real fucking hard to play 28 intelligence, <laughs> effectively. That's really tough to do. But Age of Ashes has both. Uh, by the time you meet both dragons, Mankare is lawful neutral and Zerich is chaotic neutral when they're supposed to be lawful good and chaotic evil by what they are. Age of Ashes has a lot of recurring more than your alignment themes. We did admittedly not really experience the first one because the first one is supposed to be the warg puppies. <laughs> so that one didn't really survive contact with the enemy, but that's okay. Because the decision that was made is a perfectly rational decision for a party of farmers to make. So no, there it is. The, the nature versus nurture thing is, is supposed to be a really big theme in Age of Ashes. That I didn't don't think our party leaned into particularly hard. And that's okay. Everyone's experience differs. I wanna try this motherfucker on hard again. I wanna try and I got a new weapon. I got a new big badonkus. I got an extra stink slapper on here. I'm wearing some I got this. I'm wearing some hit harder gear. I'm gonna literally like try it once, fail, and then we're gonna go do something else. We got relatively close. I have that vulnerability thing. I could, if I, I'd have to bring, I have to swap onto these because these are, okay, these are just tanky. So if I put on, I don't know if it's worth, it's like a minute. What's the spell do? A minute of 10% more damage. If we fail, I'll try it. If we don't make it, I'll pull it out. I'm gonna also bring Lublers, because he doesn't do that much damage. And I would like to not lose adrenaline to eating, so I can continue just unga bunging as hard as possible. Junius UK, thank you for the follow. Let me see if just the gear differences were enough to make the difference. All right, you fuck has worked zero of like 10 times but I'm going to try it again because I don't learn from experience because I'm 
probably more weak than melee, huh? Want to go back in early on that one. Defense down. The, okay, we may have hit a break point in our ability to hit him consistently. We are hitting him way more consistently. I actually think we might have him. Okay, please don't glitch charge. Thank you. I gotta remember that with blubblers, you just shove them in your mouth as fast as possible. I shouldn't have barged. I should have kept barged for the minions. Forgot about the minions. I will freely admit I. Oh shit, I'm gonna eat this, I think. Ooh, I surged it. I it might be worth barging him here, I'm not sure. Where are your babies? Summon this dude in fucking. Brazil. That guy is gone. Okay, we zerking. He's in space. Kind of losing a lot of zerk potential here. I think we might have him. Oh, it's going to be fairly close, I think. Didn't miss the slapter. I might have 100% accuracy on this guy. We have hella hit chance. Oh, this sword. This this is just contextualizing how big of a fucking upgrade this sword is. Holy fuck. But I'm beating his ass. I'm beating his ass. Come on. Oh, no, we ate that slafter. Shit. He ate the slafter. Come on. Believe. Oh, we're going to be so close. I can't believe that's like the same we had before. Okay. That like literally wasn't better. It felt, how did that feel so much better, but it wasn't even an improvement. We got him to 10K before we got him to 8K that time. It wasn't, I didn't. It's not even better at all. Adagio fuck, thank you for the follow. Now, let's try the vulnerability thing. Let's try the vulnerability thing. I'm not gonna bother with the super defense, I don't think it fucking matters. It's chaos and soul, right? Okay, so I'm gonna need to bring couple of swaps. I'm gonna need to just wear these. And then I want to put these back on. I can't believe I went up an entire weapon tier and put on a whole bunch of bonus damage gear and it didn't even remotely get better. Do I, I don't know if the hyper penalty matters for a debuff. I'm gonna find out if I have to. Oh, I also have the run necklace on. That doesn't help. Um, there's no harm in taking it off. The things I'm swapping anyway might as well be mage gear, which is you, you, and you, because I'm gonna fully swap. And then I'll put these four on, and we'll start punching him. I'm gonna have to do this several different times throughout the fight because it only lasts a minute. So it's gonna have to like really work to be worth it. I think I have to really fucking work to be worth it. Um, does do, do I have a hybrid penalty for a ring? Let you see your stats again. Wow, you get a hybrid penalty for a ring. Oh, fuck you. That should be no hybrid penalty. 
Oh, well, I have the sword. I have to put a magic weapon in my hand, obviously, but uh, otherwise. I guess I should check that. Check it like that. Okay, so that's right. And then if I put you on... Okay, no, there's no hybrid nerf for a ring. Or hybrid nerf for a cape. No hybrid nerf for a cape. Hybrid nerf for helmet. So I don't need to worry about the cape or the ring. I just need four. Four is fine. And then I need... Put you here for right now. To hit him with the zippy. That's damage received up. And then I have defense down on the, the two-hander ult. By our powers combined. I didn't get any prayer. Hold on. Let me pray real quick. I forgot prayer. Could I bring a minion in here? I feel like this was one of the places I wasn't allowed to bring a minion. Okay, what? Oh, because they tried to then auto attack. Right. I see. There's bones. Missing the gloves. That's 10%. Hey, you the defense down, I'll reset. I feel like there's no point in continuing a fight that isn't going perfectly, basically, because you can just reattempt this infinitely. Eating the defense down is a huge fucking deal. He's bold. Okay, he bug charged me, so let's reset. We gotta hope he doesn't bug charge. I haven't missed the Vuln yet. I don't know if that's like a thing that can happen. All right, don't bug charge me, please. Don't bug charge me. Cool. Wait, it's been you ain't winning. Ready? Don't bug charge me. That's probably why I should bar just to charge, because that takes longer to get back in. Oh, I think at this part I might need to save. I shouldn't barge back in from this, because I'm right here anyway. Okay, there's the lads. Ooh, they're like right here. They're very right here. They're zerking. Ah. Cast it. Cast it. Cast it. Thank you. I'm going to eat that because I didn't see it was happening. That's GG, I think. No, not really. It sucks a lot. I don't think I actually missed much on attacking. Reopening the phone is a fucking pain in the ass. I don't know if that's really helping. A bug charge, a bug charge. Cool. Eat my blobblers. Just 
bone these defense down he's a tank kill we got 20 oh no it is making a difference it's making a lot of a fucking difference you can tell on the kind of the deadness okay slap 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 he doesn't bug charge i think we went yay okay that does in fact make a large difference like a make a sizable difference it's a pain in the ass to do but 10 percent's a lot 10 percent's a fucking big difference that's a that's a lot of demoglio it's something i think i should definitely mix in with anything that i fight with magic if i'm fighting them with magic like i don't know or a Kalka, I feel like I should super do that. Because it's not a small buff. Even if I have to swap my entire gear set, I think it's worth doing. It's just whether or not I can be fucked to put that much effort in. Okay. Just like plus one bonuses in Pathfinder. Yeah, and the problem with that boss is just the health pool. It's just a DPS check. Now, especially in a situation where, like, the HP is the issue, and I'm going to get literally nothing out of this. Oh, no, I got... That's the same thing you get out of medium chests. Okay. I mean, these are cool. I do like them. I appreciate it. I, I'm not... I'm clearly... I use them sometimes. Not like often, though, on account of they seem to be a very, very limited resource for me right now. There, I would say a very severely limited resource. I've gotten three of them ever, so I've got three hours total of dude blendering before those are just gone for good but they're really neat and i like them okay so what's today's plan i think we keep working on the grand scheme of trying to get uh, trying to wake up the world while guthix is sleepy would you look at that That's a whole lot of lines drawn through things. There are several very scary things here. Requiring a specific summoning level. It's just a summoning requirement. Like 23 is a weird thing. Let's, I, I have become leery of anything that requires summoning because I feel like stupid shit is going to happen. Like, you're, you're basically guaranteed to have a bad time if there's a summoning requirement. Are we summoning our cheesy boy again? Is our cheesy boy going to come back? That's concerning. These are fairly large numbers. That's concerning. <laughs> very, <laughs> very long. That's concerning. I'll put that one. Let's go put a point on concerning. Um, <laughs> very, very long. I feel like this is a Song of the Elves tier investment. Well, the rest of the stream is. I feel like this is going to be more than one stream. I don't think we're even going to finish this today. And then there's two things left that scare me. 2008. 2008 is a fucking grab bag. The, uh, literally anything can happen in the 2008 era. Anything, absolutely anything can happen in the grim darkness of 2008. These were unregulated times. 2008 was the wild fucking West. So much good and so much absolute dumpster slime came out of the 2008 era. And finally, the most terrifying thing of all, the scariest part of this entire quest, the part that truly strikes absolute unmitigated fear into my fucking soul. This is a direct sequel 
to Legends Quest. Please, God, no. Put on my big boy pants. Time to put on my big Sarah Doman pants. I'm gonna throw on all this stuff. I'm gonna grab some wound, some runes. I'm gonna gra grab some wound. I'm gonna grab some runes for wizardizing. I've discovered recently that this is actually just a really good general teleport. It teleports to any of the altars. That's a lot of places actually. Also, do I have anything to feed you? Do Can I give you any new teleports? You have the elements, cosmic soul, blood, and law. I could give you body and nature, but then I wouldn't have talismans anymore. I you have body. I could give you nature, but then I wouldn't have talismans anymore. If I gave you... What, what purpose would that serve? The nature altar is not a particularly useful place, I don't really think. We're only missing nature, astral chaos, and death, and then whatever. Omni? I thought that was going to say catalytic. I saw elemental and just assumed across from elemental was going to be catalytic. No, it's omni. There's a giga talisman in this one. Okay. I'm ready. Put it in my ass. Let's go. I don't know what the hell we're gonna... Oh, a discovery about player on farms, by the way. Planner tangent. I think I... Did you just... Is that... It's surely I was two different people and you didn't just teleport from here to there. Should I hit him with a question mark, question mark, question mark? He literally just teleported from there to here. I fucking watched him do it. I really want to hit him with a question mark, question mark, question mark. But I'm not gonna be that guy. Um... I've changed my breeders around. The two sparklings. I'm pursuing the shiny Pokemon theory. And... They immediately shed out a sparkling baby. This was my previous breeder who I kept here in case this is pointless. I think they actually don't really pass down their traits unless they both have it. The Squiddy Pool. Like, I don't think my children are any more likely to be big boned or jovial. I think, I think both parents have to have a trait for it to have any influence on what the children have. Out of butts, 54 months in the pool, four and a half years. You with the shiniest squiddling. How's the cool guy penthouse treating you? Hopefully everything's to your liking. Current working theory anyway. I've had parents with traits that I want them to pass down basically forever and it... not only like a statistically insignificant amount of times in many cases literally never happened had two sparkling parents they immediately produced two consecutive sparkling offspring uh I it's I'm sure it's not guaranteed but I think they both have to have it The Legends Guild music does kick absolute fucking ass in, uh, in RuneScape 3. So, you know, at least the Legends Guild has something, something going for it, which is an absolute fucking banger of a theme song. The Rise Legend fucks. Ah, look at this dude. Look, just look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Just fucking look at him. Look at this model. We engage with this model. This is the character model that starts the quest. We're going to hell. Oh my god, we're going to hell.
Dude looks like he's covered in gelatin. He looks like he's wearing fucking spearmint jello flavored armor. Guy looks like he's trying to do his very first cosplay at Comic-Con on an extremely limited budget. That is to say what he could find in his kitchen the morning of. Motherfucker looks like he just polished up a bunch of eggshells, coated the uh, underside of a bunch of duct tape, and molded it in the general shape of pauldrons. Like... Dude out here looking like a, lo a fucking lollipop that no one has ever purchased that's been in the bin at the candy store since it opened. <sighs> he does have spur polygons for the horse he rides. Or something. Before I can sign myself to this journey, I need to take my first break. So, about two and a half hours. I'm gonna stand up, stretch my legs. I'm gonna take this little puppy outside because he's waking up. He's probably going to have to go pee. And I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a commitment. So I should take a break anyway. I got, I'm got. i trying to be better, I say every week, as I continue to not be better about taking my breaks some degree of regularly. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Feel free to stand up, stretch your legs, get the circulation going, grab a drink, grab some snacks. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a fucking time investment. But don't go too need to take the dog outside. I did, in fact, take the dog outside. Dog has been outsided. Mission accomplished. Um, and then Bryn got home. But when I came back in with the dog, and she brought fish tacos. So, like, obviously, if the options are do a RuneScape quest that's terrifying, um, or eat fish tacos, I'm gonna pick eat fish tacos. And then I'm gonna do the RuneScape quest. It's terrifying. So there we go. Radimus, my boy! You have a quest for me! Oh, yes! Cassandra Lee! It might not be the sort of quest you've come to expect. You could be right for the job with your experiences in Karamja. If you send me to Karamja, I'm just not going to do the quest. What are the details? Well, it's all quite hush-hush. I've been approached by a lady of some note, an influential druidess in Taverly. She's... Organizing a mission of some sort to Karamja is what she's doing. She's organizing a Karamja mission. Because of course she is. A mission to Karamja, you say? Yes, let me finish! This Jewess represents a collective who wish to travel to Karamja. The details are sketchy, but I believe they intend to set up a new place of worship for the followers of Guthans. In the fucking jungle? Okay, seeing how most places in Karamja are surrounded by nature and Guthans is nature or whatever, I guess. So, are you interested? Not anymore. <laughs> I was. Once. What kind of mission is this? I don't have any details, as I said before. But I believe... Yeah, okay, he's just saying something. Alright, uh, fine. Sign me the fuck up. Where do I go? Okay, great. I knew you'd be the right person for the job. I need to talk to a druidess called Ivy Sophista in Tapoli. I believe she's located in one of the buildings opposite the summoner's house. In order that she knows you've been sent by me, you've agreed a simple passphrase. I need to say the following when you meet her. Our friend in common place our friend in common places great faith in totems. Okay. Get it because you can pray to the totem. You get it. Hey astronauts, how you doing? All I've done is accept the quest and I already want to die. Off we go. Oh That's 
I mean, it can't be bad, right? Karamja at this point has to be mined of all of its awful content. Like, literally, we've experienced every negative thing there is to experience on the entire continent of Karamja. Oh, she lives in the Crystal Chest house. Okay. Hi. About the chest. Chest! Oh, it's something you have a safekeeping. Give it as a reward for determined treasure seekers who find both key halves and make a crystal key. Also, there's great treasure even harder to obtain than this one. But on the world of fragments of a crystal Triskelion key. Yeah, I did that one. I did that once. All right, wugs me. Let's go. Can I help you? Ah, uh, friend and common places, grave faith and totems. Good. I'm glad you've arrived. Crime Test and Cesar, and they're pretty cool in RuneScape 3. I've done one Cesar quest, and it sucked donkey balls. So, like, I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> I'm glad you've arrived. I mean, they risk upstairs. There's much to discuss, and Lucian spies are everywhere. Lucian? Shit, upstairs. Ah, oh, this motherfucker. Okay. A fucking piece of dick. I don't even get to see the fucking play. Just... Hi, they risk. Ivy sent me. Something about Karamja and Lucian. The mission to Karamja was a necessary... Oh, thank fucking God. It's a necessary cover story, because a whole bunch of people in chat were probably extremely confused about, like, what the fuck? You don't go to Karamja? Because they, they've never read a single line of dialogue in their goddamn careers. And we're like, what the fuck? I don't remember going to Karamja in this quest. And we're probably confusedly discussing in Rectangles and Discord channel if they were thinking of the wrong quest or if they'd just forgotten the whole beginning of the adventure. But... <laughs> that was a high-grade fucking fate. Little could the, the writer of this quest have possibly known how potent the threat of Karamja would be at this point. There's little point in risking his life with the information I'm about to impart. You told the head of the Legends Guild a fucking cover story with my least favorite thing to do ever. Is this necessary? It is. Strangers have appeared in Taverly, and several of our brethren have been murdered in truly terrifying circumstances. What the why? First, a little background. Help organize a group called Crux Ec Oh, you're the herb farmers. I yeah, I know. we I have like not zero reputation with you guys. Too long have Gothix's followers been spellbound by the beauty of nature when they should be using their powers to fight those that would throw the wider world into the chaos of imbalance. Okay, that's pretty forward thinking, so... Some druids do that, though, I'm pretty sure. That's not my point. The elder druids within Taverly are cautious about the larger issues that need attention. Like the Majorat, especially the one called Lucian. His insatiable hunger for power is a cause for concern. Many of our operatives researching Lucian's movements have met with a stealthy, violent death. These deaths are messages from Lucian's henchmen, warnings that we should stay away. That sucks. We believe Lucian is already very powerful since getting the staff of Arborville. Did I stop him from getting the staff of Armadil? Am I crazy? I thought we had an entire quest about that. Oh, yeah, shit, the letter. Right. Oh, fuck. That was about this. Oh, son of a bitch, right. That whole quest was pointless. I got the letter. That was a forever ago. Holy fuck, yeah, that's right. We read that on stream, I'm pretty sure. He's also established a lethal network of spies, assassins, and thugs for subverting our ability to keep track of his plans. Consider it. Zamorak was once a Majorat, until he used the staff. Oh, the staff of Armadil is like the Star Stone. Oh, I, I thought it was just a stick. Okay, that's a bigger deal than I was led to. Maybe he should have fucking buried. No way to bury the lead on that one. That's a more. Okay, I, I thought it was a staff, not the Star Stone. Uh, a moment, sister. Someone is approaching from down the stairs. Let us wait for them to pass. Oh. Uh, oh, well, let me bind my air spell. Okay, anyway, fuck you. Yeah. 
Rude. We're having a conversation. You okay, buddy? Yes, I think so. Not those filthy assassins are dead. You understand why the level of secrecy needs to be maintained. Yep, oh, that's, that does seem like a, we literally just talked about it for 30 seconds and two assassins showed up. So I'll admit that's a pretty impressive intel network he's got. That's why we find ourselves in this situation. None of us were ready for it. So what are you, what are you doing? We're trying to track his movements. He's in the north somewhere, perhaps near the wilderness. We've heard a lot of reports he has spies through. Oh, the shady guys in Draenor Village. I've seen those guys. Why there? We don't know. They have reports a stranger entered the Lumbridge Swamp Caves at the time these spies started arriving. Apparently, he's a treasure hunter by the name of Movario. I've heard that before. I think it was in the same letter. I'm gonna have to go reread that letter. I'm pretty sure it's still in my bank. I believe he was also mentioned in the same letter that talked about the staff being stolen. I was initially gonna ask you to go into the wilderness to see if you could track down Lucian. At this juncture, I'm curious to see what information we can find out about Movario and what he's up to. So, this just seems like a, I mean, oh, fuck it. was it in the letter? Was it something unrelated? I feel like he was also mentioned in the letter, but I'm gonna ask this question anyway. They may, may have no connection to Lucian, but the Temple Knights, the Guardians of Arvidil, and the members of Crux Echo are all concerned about what it is he's doing down there. Hello, Zagreus. Are you in crazy spaz mode? Oh no, he's turtling. Oh no, he's turtling. He's, oh no, he's stuck. Oh no, he has been defeated. There is no hope for you, tiny dog. Oh, he figured it out. He's up right now. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, I guess. <laughs> oh, fucking puppy. What do you know about him? Quite a bit, actually. He's magically trained, has adventured, and has ties to the runecrafting and magic guilds. He's also spent a lot of time in various archives, so we can safely assume that he knows how to read. Okay. Is that illegal? Maybe not. There's some speculation he helped Lucian track the- I, I'm pretty sure I was- I thought that was what the letter said, was that someone named Ofario they thought helped him. He helped Lucian track down the staff of Armadil in the first place. He's an experienced artifact hunter, after all. Currently a bit of an unknown quantity, and we need to learn about him. dog is in bananas mode. He's going crazy. What are our options? Crux Equal are going to contact the Temple Knights and the Guardians of Armadillo. It's time we treated this threat seriously. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, if Armadillo and Guthix and Sarah Doman, I'm pretty sure the Temple Knights are all bending together, then that, that does seem like it's a big fucking deal. This is like the god action team. Indeed. Some of the speculation about Movario's intentions are a bit too wild to believe. All these rumors about Fist of Guthix and the Eye of Ceridomen. Is the Fist of Guthix a physical object? Is it guarded by a bug? <laughs> People won't believe anything. What is the what is the Fist of Guthix? Most people associate the Fist of Guthix with an arena where Druids reward adventurers for gathering energy from a strange imprint in the floor. In fact, the arena was named after the mythical concept itself. I don't even want to consider that nonsense right now. I still think it's a good idea to have this Movario character checked out, though. Just to be on the safe side. Is that- that sounds like it's a place. Is that like a place you can go? Does a bug guard it? <laughs> like, is it- It sounds- is that where my last little token lives? That's the first- I've been- that's, I don't know why- that has been in the back of my brain since I read it. Because maybe it was such a weird fucking hint compared to the rest of them that even if I didn't know what they referred to, it seemed a degree of obvious. I don't know, anyway. So, what do you need from me? It's very important we get some background material on Movario. We think he's working for Lucian, looking for something. We're not sure what it is. Okay, there's a... 
Maybe there's a tunnel which leads from the north through the swamp caves and a lumbridge. And Lucian could just like shove all his dudes up Duke Horatio's butt. Could be. There's also speculation about the Eye of Ceridomen. I don't know anything about that one. What's that? Not really relevant, but it's a phrase in a translated tome. And power from Ceridomen's eye did strike his enemies, and all was wasted in death that appeared about him. It's all metaphorical imagery related to Ceridomen's godly powers. Like I say, it's pointless to remember. It's not important. It's definitely not going to come up later. Okay. So how do I start? Learn about Movario. Find out where he lives. Get some proof of what he's researching and bring it to me. He cite the palace library in Varrock. So, like every time you're looking for anything book-related, just go bother Reldo. And he's gonna fucking talk shit about archaeology for like 10 minutes. Doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch? He's just a librarian in Varrock. Reldo's shrewd, observant, and knowledgeable. He may be able to give you all the information that you need. Remember, I need some proof of what it is that Movario is researching. Reldo might not be able to give you the specific location, but what, inf what information he has could be useful. More questions. Some more background. Uh, it's pretty thin, but I'll tell you this. The Temple Knights, Guardians of Armadil, and Crux Equ are recruiting experienced fighters of all types. Warriors, Rangers, and Mages. Because you fear Lucian's on the offensive, or do you know something else? Our scouts that have been into the wilderness have witnessed a significant number of single zombies traveling around. They seem to be hunting or scouting. They have purpose, intent, and are not limited by the restraints of the living. They do not sleep. They travel fast and unrelentingly. If they spot one of our scouts, they attack mercilessly. Only through luck, guile, and experience have many of our most valuable scouts returned, and the fact that zombies are only like level 40. I wonder what they're looking for. They've also had reports Lucian is roving the wilderness, raising heroes from the dead. We can only guess at how large his army is, what its purpose is, and when we may have to fight it. This, this is starting to sound worse the more we talk about it. So you can appreciate how glad I am that you're here. All right, thanks, so... Go to Varrock, I guess. Well, goddamn, it's only the fucking end of the universe or whatever. Boing! Alright, time out! Time out real quick. Because I still have a fish taco. I don't want it to get all cold and sad. I'm gonna shove it in my face while I run to Reldo. We call that environmental storytelling. <laughs> Wilderness flash events. King Black Dragon Rampage has started. A hardcore diet against King Black Dragon. <laughs> A moment of silence. For our fallen brother. A story in two sentences. Okay, Taco defeated. We're good. <sighs> My guy. Please. Shut up. I'm a Lucian and Movario. Hey, Reldo, you know a guy named Super Mario or whatever? 
Oh, oh, Mario. Oh, yeah, he's been in here a few times. What can you tell me about him? He's certainly an interesting character. He rarely needs help locating books. He's reasonably am amiable for a scholar, but he does get annoyed if interrupted when reading. He speaks with a faint Khazard accent, and uh, like many such scholars, likes to keep himself to himself. Okay. What does he do? Oh, he comes in here from time to time. Usually makes lots of notes as he goes. I've seen him read some unusual works. Books on traps, housing improvements, and even divination. Hunter construction divination. He seems particularly interested in the very oldest historical documents. They have quite a collection in the archives, you know. Not much use, though. The language is quite old and barely decipherable. Perhaps? Apparently, a thief by the name of Slick Fingered McGrew attempted to steal something from Bavario. After his attempt, he was known as No Fingers McGrew. Huh. Big Grizzly, to say the least. But one thing No Fingers McGrew was reported to have said was solving the puzzle arms the trap. Okay. Where does Bavario live? Uh, no idea. He has ties to the Khazard area, but I don't know for certain if that's where he lives. So I could track that down. Hacking? That is a question for a librarian. Do I look like an expert tracker? I do you want to track down his lodgings anyway? I just, I don't know. He's just, uh, just, I don't know. He sounds like a cool dude. Well, I've read about some jungle creatures that are able to take a scent and track it down. I probably need to talk to some sort of jungle hunting expert on the matter, though, and I'm not sure if there's many of those around here. You made me go to Karamja. Thinking more of a temperate jungle than a tropical one. That's, yeah, that's where I was going to go was the hunting tutor, yes. That's, okay, uh, they spelled it out. I mean, I feel like if I was supposed to be picking up hints, I've picked up, like, hunter construction and div divination all being important. And now I feel less worried about needing to pick up hints when they extremely, like, he said an expert on jungle hunting, and I was like, like, uh, okay, I'm gonna go to the hunting tutor near Uglog. And he's like, maybe go to the hunting tutor near Uglog. And I said, oh, this is an unga bunga no thinking conversation. Okay, fair enough. Um, it's... <laughs> this isn't like, this isn't a read between the lines. This is, a uh, Very straightforward. Oh, hello there! Oh, hello. How's the hunting? I had to track someone. I've heard there might be an animal. That grass is very fucking tall up here. What the shit? We're in a... Is it comfortable to stand there? You have a floor. Anyway, looking for an animal to contract on a person? Ah, yes. Wild bro. They have a great sense of smell. What the fuck is a brove? Small wild boar. Very wild. Not easy to capture either, especially not alive. Then, of course, you have to train it. This is starting to sound very involved. The drove is quite a sensitive creature. Treated in the correct way, it can be taught to follow sense, making it an excellent tracker. Can I... Can I... Is that something I could do? I only know of one person who can do that. A very experienced hunter could possibly do it for you, but I don't think she could train you to do it. It's pretty local. You're talking to her. Ew, okay. If I could bring you a drove, will you train it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> How do I catch a problem? I need to set a trap. Somewhere to the ones used for catching the rupees. Pitfall trap. Instead of jumping over it, though, you need to bait the trap with a fungus. Mushroom? Yes. An ordinary mushroom. You need a Mauritania fungus. I've got a bunch of those. Where's a good place to catch a pro? Before I give you all the details, let's remember two things. First, don't jump over the trap. Second, Bring it to me. Okay, you're very, very straightforward. It's not a, there's no between the lines happening here. There's a mole pitfall trapping spot. The west you can use. You can take this. What you should give, huh? Why do you just have this? You just keep this? You're just holding on to a fucking mushroom? Is that a mushroom in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Also, are pitfall traps not punji pits? Like, a pitfall trap's gonna kill it. The, the pitfall traps are full of spikes. Isaac, where is Hey, buddy. 
What are you eating? What you got in your mouth? Oh, rawhide. That's fine. We're gonna... We're gonna kill it. It's gonna die. Okay, spot to the west. Looking for an old... Spot to the west. How far to the west? Oh, it's this. I thought that was the thing that goes down to the Ogress Cave. Is that not this? Does that not exist anymore? Has the Ogress Cave been wiped from the world? Okay, well, we're making a non-lethal punji pit. That's not a bro. That's a dog. Oh, that's a bro. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> we got stuff to do. Come here, little buddy. We got stuff to do. <laughs> Let's go ahead and scoop that boy out of there. <laughs> Instantly. Oh, God. Unconscious, you felt like two feet. What is your skull made of? Paper mache? Ah, yes, I have a bro. Okay, I'll key it to you. Some time passes during which you contemplate some complex theological problems. There you go. You need to put other followers away before you can use it. A bro tracks best when it has the scent of the person you're trying to find. Okay. So we know he's Kazard. Which is obviously an area. It's fairly precise area. It's this area. We don't have a scent. I wonder if I can ask Reldo. Oops, that's wrong one. Like, hey, yo, dog Reldo. Or if I could find, like, one of the books he was reading or something. Because I don't know where else I'd get a scent. What's up, James Rick? Hey, how we doing? We're making progress. We're from sleeping Guthics or whatever. Oh, right. I have the quest overlay now. Let me get the quest overlay up here. While Guthics sleeps. There you go. Do you... Oh, shut up. Do you... So, hey, Cassandra Lee, still looking for Movario? Yes, questions. Okay, so he's not gonna tell me anything else. Is there anything to be gained from searching bookshelves? Can I find something, perhaps, that would... What's this? This is the Dagon High thing. That's not it. Can I dismantle you? Technically. It's not gonna tell you no. It's not gonna musty old tome. There's so much taking high shit, Jesus. And it's the wilderness. None of this is the shit that I want. Okay, I don't want you. I don't want you. Skateboard. This music sounds so oblivion. Am I a crazy slash alone? This music is so oblivion. All right, I don't want it. It almost makes me want to play oblivion. If I had... Okay, if I had theoretically forgotten that oblivion... Well, how many fucking shelves is this on? Stop! I don't want this! How many times do you think I've searched every single bookshelf in this library? Like, how many times has this happened? 
What do you guys think is the total number of times I have searched every single shelf in this library? Because the quest needed a book from a, a random bookshelf. This has got to be at least four or five. I swear to fucking God. This has got to be at least four or five. That this has happened. Why is this is an, it's an amazing number of me, number of times this has come up as either a required mechanic or something that would make sense to do? I'd skip this one. Nothing in here. Am I gonna get a sense? Okay, so is there a divination hole in the Kazard area? Hunter divination construction. No, there's Hunter over here. Tower of Life would be a degree of construction -y. What is the fuck is this? <laughs> Not a divination pit over there. Okay, so I'm assuming... I could just take the bro over there and see what happens, but I'm assuming our current quest objective is get his scent. Which is very possibly just done over there. Hello, Zangrius. Oh, talk to Kazadarians. Fair enough, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that very easily. What are you doing, Zagreus? Are you hungry? I'm pretty sure you're hungry, and now you've hit the part of your day where you're just gonna... Whoops, I meant to go to three. Where you're just gonna walk around to everyone you can find, giving them the very depressed puppy eyes. Begging, sadly, until somebody feeds you in like two hours. Because it's 4 p.m. I'm depressed. I've never eaten in my life. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna die. I am the void. <laughs> yeah, it's what I thought. You will not win this battle of wills with me, Zagreus. <laughs> you didn't come in here to get bullied. Oh, that starts Spider Arena, which I guess I haven't done on this account. Hey guys, want to blow up Lord Kazer real fast? <laughs> Quick detour. He's gonna tell Bryn you made fun of him. Hexy, I'm glad that somebody else joins me in finding his legs absolutely fucking hilarious. Hey, fuck out of here. Okay. Well, I'll talk to the Angor. The barman who's hopefully not too angory. Ah, hey, buddy. Hey, what can I get you? We have a range of quality brews. Looking for someone called Movario? I don't really know him myself, but I sometimes see him take his laundry to a place just northwest of the fight arena. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very specific. Oh, that's a laundry rack. Gazard <laughs> laundry. I don't know him, I just sniff his underwear sometimes. What can I do you for? You know someone called Movario? Oh yeah, Movario. Er, right, well, sorry, I'm not really supposed to divulge client details. Time's tough enough as it is. I can do it without losing customers because of my gossiping. Sorry. What do you do, buddy? Mainly take in wash and make sure it's good and clean for my customers. Times are tough, though. Not everyone can afford such a service, and it's affecting my takings. Do you, do, you, do you feel fulfilled? You run a laundromat. Is this where you saw yourself? Is that what you wanted to be when you were a child? You were six years old in elementary school and your teacher asked, what do you want to be when you grow up, little 
haphazard launderer? I mean, maybe. You might, you, your name's pretty fitting. And he said, I want to run a laundromat at the Khazard Fight Arenas. Well, okay, well, first of all, fuck off. But second of all, be a bit monotonous and the pay ain't good. I set myself some goals and deliver my wash and clean. My customers rarely complain, so I must be doing something, right? Better they're afraid of you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, real fucking funny. I think my customers are pretty important. I'm sure they have a word with me if they thought my quality was slipping. Quest save. So this is surely it. All right, this is a RuneScape quest. Hello, sir. I would like a beer. Test one. Am I playing RuneScape? He clicked good. Do you want me to wash him in a beer? <laughs> Very kind of you, madam. I'm sure, but I'd be slitting my own throat if I started drinking on the job. As the customer coming in and seeing me all sixes and sevens. This is money hand over fist. Ah, well, more for me then. Clean this shit up. That garbage on your floor. Fair enough. I appreciate there's an acknowledgement for it. Go, my child. Sniff. I don't know what scent to go for, though. It's the problem. Well, yeah, I think I need to figure it. Mm -hmm. Is there any other, other clicking opportunities? That's my very last. It's just a piece of trash on this guy's floor. What can I do with this pan? Stuff outside is going to be dry already. Logically, the camper is going to be just stuff that hasn't been washed yet. Hey, you mind if I drop my pig in here? Is that cool? <laughs> hmm. You can't talk to the regular guys. Can you talk to these guys? No, they're just sitting there wiggling their arms back and forth. What about this unconscious looking? But there's a couple. Oh, there's a citizen. Citizen's taking a big ol' nap. He's extremely asleep. You look like a different guy. You look unique. One of the finest wines available to humanity. I want him here, I want him now. Okay. I think that's part of fight arena. Um, hmm. I won't take a beer. Got any news, my friend? Tells me to fight arena it up. Does this change? Same shit. Okay. Who else could I talk to? Who else in the Khazard region could I talk to? I might need some other intel. Before I can do anything with laundry guy. Local. Sadly, they put an interaction for that as well as the crowd debate tells me a lot about how much Jagex do their players for this one. Hello, stranger. You know these parts? You look lost. Suppose you're here for the fight arena. Some rich folk fight tomorrow. I should be entertaining. Look, I'm not doing the fight arena quest, my guy. Hmm. What's this? Billion Khazard Guards. Khazard Guards. Khazard Guards. Let's see. There's the battlefield. <laughs> Please, Father. I'm so hungry. I need food. 
I'm starving to death. I don't know how much longer I will make it. I'm so hungry. <laughs> what are you doing, Puffy? Oh, attack. Quit fucking making fun of me! Fuck, I'll try with <laughs> Puffy. You gotta figure out walking. You're not super good at walking. Friends. Friends. <laughs> oh man, he's fine. That covers. <laughs> He's such a funny puppy. Oh, is that what you think? Is that what you think, buddy? <laughs> going for aggro now. Going for the uh, the uh, diplomacy has failed. It is time for aggression. Oh, he's back to diplomacy. He's <laughs> back down to go be depressed. Wait, where the fuck? Wait, where the guy go? Fuck, hold on. Uh, hi. I don't think this is the correct place. Where's... Oh, this guy. This sounds like it for Commander Monty. Hmm. Nope. They're only talking about their old quest. Well, I'm supposed to talk to somebody else. I don't know. I feel like I need to do something at this point. I don't know what that would be, though. This guy seems to take his quality pretty seriously. And I can't just talk to him. I can't give him a beer. He's got something no man in the history of RuneScape has ever had, which is beer resistance. Can I just fill this with water? Would you like a nice water? <laughs> no. Give restraint. No NPC's ever had this before. Hmm. I need to get him to talk to me. Fight arena wasn't required for this. Is there a requirement metagaming to be had here? Is there any value to be had in the requirements? I don't know why the fuck dream enter is on here um but that's interesting god these requirements are fucking random i mean i'm sure they're not but i don't know what they're for this isn't the crime part yet i'm sure we're getting to the hunter what does 65 herb lord do hand in the sand is on there it's not a truth it's not truth potion too he would he did he wouldn't drink it i have to make him drink it what is it, 75 herb lore? Is it the number that I have? 65 herb lore. I was like, damn, I nailed that one. What is that? Is that a... Camouflage potion? Clean bloodweed and black salamander. What do I just stealth in the corner? And eavesdrop on him? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I don't know what other requirements I could metagame. 75 magic. The dream mentor probably means. Stats by. Yeah, it's probably because I need a dream mentor spell. So I'm probably going to need to be on Lunars at some point. I don't know when. But I feel like I'm going to be casting stats by on somebody. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know who it's going to be. But some motherfucker's getting stats by cast on him. I can go ahead and put that two-piecer together from the quest requirements. I can't imagine any other reason Dream Mentor be required. Other than that it literally requires a Dream Mentor. Oh, that's not a puppy. It literally requires a Dream Mentor spell. I'm going to make a camouflage potion. 
Even if that doesn't solve our problem right now, which I don't really think it will, I don't see how it would. Progress. It's something I'm probably going to need later. Why am I dumb? Give me a blood weed? Where are my glizzies? Give me a glizzy. I'm going to put a blood weed in this bottle, and then I'm going to stuff an entire living glizzy into the bottle. There, now I have a camouflage potion. It stops you from appearing on other players' many maps. enough. I think it's going to be more used. I mean, I doubt it's the Santhi Serum, so... It's probably either a quest-specific requirement. Sounds like a camo person helps me here. I don't have a better idea. I'll release the quest required a quest cape to do. I thought about, like, eavesdropping out here somehow, but there's no interaction with the window. I did notice it's broken. For one minute. What a useless fucking potion. Holy shit. Yeah, stop this. What a useless po- oh, Jesus Christ, what a worthless potion. Out here. Hmm. I used to the PK is 60 seconds. It's not even like a thing you could keep up. If it lasted like 10 minutes and you could reliably keep it going forever, I could see it. What do I do with you? Can I interest you in a pig? <laughs> I do something with them. Sir, could you wash this for me? Oh. I had to become a fucking client. Spiderina wasn't required for this. I'm gonna go grab the Khazard gear anyway. We'll see if I can without the quest. Um, is it not this building? Holy shit, this is a full-ass fucking armory. The 20 billion sets of armor, none of which are interactable. How much these shitty buildings is the fucking chest in it? God damn it. I don't fucking know. One of you has a chest. Is it you? Is it this cupboard? No. Maybe you have to be on Fight Arena. I mean, if it doesn't appear if you're not on Fight Arena, then this definitely isn't the answer because Fight Arena is not required to do this quest. Is it this one? I don't fucking know. I'm either actually blind or the chest might not appear unless you're on the quest because that's, that's all the buildings. Surely it's in the big armory thing. So that's, that's a negative. I have the thought. Bring him clothes. Fight Arena for feedback? No, because I haven't done Fight Arena. That's what I mean, Cordal Plane. This account hasn't done Fight Arena. So it's not connected at all. Other than that, I guess it's technically a Majorad quest. Because Khazard is a Majorad. I would like some regular clothes, please. Gonna buy some stuff. See if I mean it cost me fucking nothing to try all this. 
see if he'll take any of it. Maybe thinking, like, be a client, perhaps. Get his business. I need him to talk to me. Or something. Hmm. Wait, let's see if it fits Cass. It, it, everything fits Cass. I am the perfect human specimen, okay? So don't ever come at me like that again. Clothes are made for me specifically. Other people are fortunate if it also fits their feeble and inferior bodies. I don't think it's going to work. But... Just like clothes. Pink skirt, the classic. Wizard robes, skirt, and brown apron. Fuck me. A brown apron. Cape. No, okay. So giving him clothes is not doing anything. I could disassemble all this, but like, why even bother? <laughs> yeah, you got a pile of laundry on your floor. You probably deal with that. Um, can't crime him. There's a thieving requirement, so we're gonna rob somebody at some point. The panning line? Dude's also a leather worker? That seems like a horrible profession to put in the same building as a laundromat. These are already drying, so they're sent. Oh, you can't even click on this. Well, okay, so their scent's gonna be fucking gone by now. We'll already have been very washed. Can I drop you? You just need to be out when I go in here. Do I need to grossly upset this man by bringing a fucking feral hog into his laundromat? Because I was trying to do it via, like, being a customer and establishing rapport. Oh my god, he's so fucking slow. But I mean, bringing a feral hog into his establishment will also probably give me what I'm looking for. man for running a laundromat is phenomenally unbothered by a whole ass dirt covered feral hog <laughs> absolutely unperturbed he does not care at all <laughs> okay he's just like yeah whatever there's a fucking waist high pig rooting around doing pig stuff hunger is this you're fine with this bitch you live like this <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really give a fuck about the pig pick up the pig this has got to be the right angle maybe I still need to talk to somebody else I don't know who else there is to talk to. there's just guards who won't talk to me there's a local who, and 50 people who don't have any quest dialogue. Barkeeper. My concept of the Cazard area is too small. Because, like, this is Port Cazard. That's a kind, this is, this is part Port Cazard, it even still got Cazard in the name. I think we're someone called Movario. I don't really know how myself. Same with the laundry. Yeah, I know about the laundry. Thank you. Okay. I feel like I'm just supposed to do something in the laundry. <laughs> Pretty sure we're just supposed to do something in the fucking laundromat. We are literally the same NPC. Murphy? I want something else. Um. Oh my god, my eye is so itchy. Okay, you're useless. Could I help? No. No, you're an Iron Man. Fuck you, too. Racist? You know anything about Super Mavario? No? Okay. 
Well, the fact that these shopkeepers also tell you... Just go to the laundromat forehead. Is not making me feel good. That's not making me feel the good feelings. Hi. Bye. What about... Here. Have some nice priestly boys. Most of the party, random monk. Also drunk. It's been like seven months. Seek help. You have a serious medical condition. Lady Scribbles only got quest dialogue. Now let's just go to the laundromat. Okay, let me comb through every single word and punctuation character in this guy's dialogue. What can I do for you? What do you do here? I take in washing and make sure it's good and clean for my customers. I could dump a bucket. Okay, and then he says in both dialogues that he's poor. Use gold. You can't use gold. Gold's not a physical item anymore. That's not even possible. Not everyone can afford such a service. It's affecting my takings. He says that in both dialogues. He says something about business is not good right now. It can be monotonous and the pay isn't. That one also, again, says I'm poor. Got some goals. Let my washing clean. Every dialogue box says, I wash the laundry, it's clean, and I'm poor. That's every single conversation with this guy. Do they want me to just dump sand on his shit? I was thought I brought the feral hog in here, but like, maybe the feral hog didn't go hard enough. Maybe like, maybe we didn't go even remotely as hard as I had to go. Maybe I just need to dump shit all over his laundry and just ruin everything. I have buckets of sand. What else do I have that would... I mean, I could dump the beer in his laundry basket. Um, I don't really have just, like, handfuls of mud. It's not really a thing I carry around. I'm honestly kind of at a loss for... I mean, I have dirty lettuce. I don't have a, a ton of stuff that would really like scuff your operation here what the fuck are these oh yeah I have buckets of compost I have a surprisingly small list of things that I wouldn't want like that I can throw in a laundry I mean raw fish <laughs> a raw swordfish this is delicious raw fish. I could dump milk. I have buckets of milk. I have buckets of chocolate milk, which is gonna look like they're just covered in poo. Um, I have piles of tiny fish. I have a great number of options. Okay, hold on. Hello, dude, there's little crap on your laundry. I mean, yeah, I was, I was gonna grab for this guy. Oh, spirit dimpling. Do you have anything to weigh in on the matter here? 25 pouches. I wouldn't want to find 25 pouches in my laundry. That's disgusting. That's unhygienic. Imagine going to get your laundry and finding 25 pouches. Okay, I'm going to do stuff with this guy. Laundry mess stuff the convention. I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. I mean, I'm, now we're going with a fucking mafia approach. Hmm. Nah, you're misunderstanding, buddy. I'm trying to help you. What if something bad happens to your fine business here? Poop! No. Chocolate milk. Nope. Regular milk. Nope. A dead fish. Nope. Literal tar. Nope. A bucket of sand. Nope. 
I think the fucking with the stuff was a good idea. I just in the sink. Put the poop in the sink. <laughs> just put just fucking I walk in this guy's room. <laughs> Nothing interesting happens. I think if I dumped a bucket of compost in the laundromat's fresh fucking laundry basket, I think something interesting would happen. I mean, I'm not an expert. But I feel like something interesting would happen. <laughs> He'd be a little bit upset at the very least. I right, put poop on his washing. Oh my god, when I like slow RP walk to the middle, I thought we had it. Milk. Fuck. Poop milk. Fuck. Raw fish. Fuck. Actual tar. Fuck. Um, I drank the milk. All right, we're out one. We're down one option. Bucket of sand. Fuck. Do the rectangles and know what part of the quest we're on. Because you're not looking at the screen for five seconds. I feel like it's extremely obvious what part of the quest we're on. Via looking at it. Man, I actually had a pretty decent... I had a decent amount of hope in the just ruining his laundry approach. But what if I just dump it on him? Do you like all this poop? There's sand? Put sand in your sink? It kind of hard to do your laundry? No? I actually kind of thought we'd get some of that. I guess being an asshole didn't really get me there. Um, do you know someone called Movario? Let's pour over this one. Movario! Not supposed to have all client details. I am poor... Business is hard. The same to every single... He has three text boxes. All three of them say, I'm poor, it's tough times. Two of them say, I have very high value clients. And two of them say, my laundry is very clean. Like almost all of his text boxes say the same thing. Which tells me the information they're trying to impart to me is direct. If I could bribe him, it would have to be a chat option. Hmm. I've tried giving him my own laundry. I've tried ruining his business. I haven't just tried straight up murder yet, but you got an examine? He's carefully folding clothes. I've tried bringing 30 to 50 feral hogs into his establishment. Doesn't care about that one either. This man is unfazable. I haven't killed anybody in like six minutes. I'm getting antsy. All right, good, good murders, everybody. Good murders. I mean, the other requirement we metagamed was the rat. I feel like if he didn't react to a fucking feral hog coming into his business... I don't think he's going to react to a rat. Not into crime. I doubt I'm stat spying right now. I don't think he just helps me right now. I don't think any of that matters. I mean, I could try the rat thing. I am quite confident it won't work. I would be extremely surprised if the rat thing works. I mean, it's a rather large rat, I guess. It's also like actually counterintuitive to the sex one because the sex one right now is I need to pull out a brove to give him a scent. And the brove is a familiar and you can't have it out if you also have a rat. a couple of these because I'm you know pretty sure it's going to come up at some point <laughs> we can also hit it with a Metal Gear Solid which has worked zero times ever 
Uh, but I always try it, which is just pull out your codec in the middle of the boss fight and call Grandpa and ask him what the fuck you're supposed to do. And he'll tell me some dumb shit like plug the controller into port 2 that you were never, ever going to figure out on your own. I'm not even bothering to use the screen so far. Okay. Up we go. You want yellow 200 bucks. Is this a Ligma? I've been ruined, chat. I have been ruined for the current state of the internet. I can't read a sentence that I don't understand. What did I forget? Oh, he's blue charms, right? He's not gold charms. He's blue charms. He's a fancy rat. Without the immediate first thought being like, is this some kind of a fucking convoluted ligma? Did they manage to pull a ligma out that I haven't seen before? Do such things even exist? Okay, come along, spirit dragon stoner. Would like you to save me zero to three blue charms. Thank you. Feel like it's probably gonna be zero. But maybe. I did not grab the blue charms. All right. Once more into the breach. One more nice leisurely journey back and forth between the bank and the summoning obelisk. And then certainly... What are you doing, Miss Girlfriend? Dagrius! How are you doing, puppy? Oh, hello, puppy dog. Oh, He looks very floofy. The dog... Oh. Come here, Zagreus! He looks like he has been... He has been fluffed. The dog has been bathed. He was apparently stanky. Bryn smelled the dog and found him wanting. He is clean now. He has been rolling around in dirt in the backyard ever since, you know, the backyard was just a huge pile of dirt because construction started. Ha ha. He saved one charm. I'm so glad I made this dragon stone. Okay, I'm keeping you three because okay, one of you is probably going to come up at some point. Oh, this is a fucking very specific level 23 summoning requirement. So we're going to do some really weird quest specific stuff. Or, you know, your boy the rat is going to make a return. I don't know why it's always the rat. Okay, here is my bag of random, possibly quest-related shit. I call this the metagaming bag. Is it going to help us? Probably not. But I do have a bro. I have the potion that takes the herb lore requirement of the quest. And I have the summoning pouch that takes the summoning requirement of the quest. It's also true, Rule 34 has ruined a lot of stuff. Mostly just Overwatch, but I would argue that like Rule 34 is the only thing that justifies Overwatch's existence at this point. Hello, yes, here is a large... Well, it's not that then, okay. <laughs> at least I didn't spend the pouch. of ideas. I'm, uh... I'm kind of just feeling some Pharaoh's runs, honestly, and this is maybe like a comeback later kind of situation, because I'm... I'm pretty... I'm, I'm pretty empty. I literally... I don't fucking know. Like, I... There's exactly one specific interaction 
I want to try before we leave. Which is all the same shit I already did with the compost and the sand, but with a beer. Because the beer has an interaction with the guy. And this is RuneScape. So it's... Possible that it will work, but only if you explicitly do it with the beer, because dumping a bucket of literal poop in his laundry is fine. And I, I didn't expect it to work, but I, I wanted to try it. Wanted to give it an attempt. That, or I can bring him something secretly alcoholic. I don't know. I would do that. And I have one last effort. I have, I have one. This is the final thought before this gets shelved. Until a future time, because I, I am truly out of ideas. I, I feel like I've tried fucking everything I can think of. And that is to go talk to the quest guy See if he has the insights. This is your first account ever? Just a long time. First account? Well, I mean, technically, I guess the account I had in middle school is now a RuneScape 3 account. But functionally, first account ever, yeah. Do you have any updated news or tips that could help me? I have to relatively pick his brains. Probably know something about Movario. On the surface, doesn't mean that much. Could give you the hints you need to get closer to his lodging. Maybe I'm missing something in Weldo. This is dude saying a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, if you're saying really think about Reldo, I'll try talking to Reldo again. I mean, you said Hunter Construction Divination was the only other thing I picked up from, but I don't know how that helps me here. I don't know how any one of those three skills could help me. Divination is... is like such a singular rail of a skill. Nothing it produces could make a difference. It could possibly matter here. I don't know how construction make a difference. Okay, blah, 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 archaeology. Okay. Sorry, wrong input. Blah, 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 archaeology. What you talking about Movario? Movario is an interesting character. Rarely is help locating books. Amiable for a scholar. I don't know if he's interrupted while reading. He speaks the Khazard accent. Yeah, okay. It just says he's in Khazard. It's okay. I got that. I'll see anything else there. It could be useful. Comes in here from time to time. Makes lots of notes. Seen him read some unusual works. Books on traps, housing improvements, and even divination. Like those are... I mean, that's those are interesting. He seems particularly interested in the very oldest historical documents. Perhaps. Slick fingered McGrew. Try to steal something. He's no fingers, McGrew. One thing no fingers supporter said was solving the puzzle arms the trap. I don't think that's relevant to the laundromat. I think that's probably information for later. Where does Movario live? Hazard, why do you care? He says go the jungle hunting experts. And he literally says go the jungle expert in Oogle. Like, yeah, I think okay, now I I don't think there's anything else in there. I don't think any of that has anything to do with what I'm currently doing. I think these are unrelated words. I think I have moved past all of those words. And I'm on to the next set of words. 
the laundromat says. Yeah, no, I got nothing. I have no idea. Right. Even right click these. I truly have no idea. I'm fucking with his sink. I'm fucking with his laundry. Trying to fuck with his house. Still under Matt's pants to learn if they're a trap. I was wondering if it's like a drain pipe or something. It's interesting his window is fucking broken. Like, that is definitely interesting. I have this like broken tree back here. Oh, I guess the broken window is actually just a thing stuff looks like in Kazard. I guess that's just one of the window decals they have. That's not even special. It just happens. This shit does anything. Whoopsie, accidental freedom. Business is struggling. Times are tough. Trying to get more business and that didn't work. I don't know. I am like, I'm, I'm really, really mining the old brain meat for any other idea. And I'm really not coming up with anything. Like, I got straight up nothing. I got absolutely no. I have no clue. I've tried metagaming the quest requirements. Let me go look at those one more time. 23 summoning makes these, but you can't summon in here. Agility can't possibly be relevant in this situation. Thieving would need an interaction. Defense is a good farming. 65 Herbore makes these. 75 Magic combined with Dream Mentor tells me it's probably going to want me to cast Stat Spy. I fucking doubt that's what we're doing right here, but I guess I could cast Stat Spy on him. I'm... I mean, I fuck, I'll fucking try it. Like, I'll, I'm, I'll try it. bereft of other ideas to do. I don't see any reason this would work or do anything, but the quest requirement metagame says that it's probably involved in the quest at some point, so like, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I have zero faith in this. And then Body Cosmic Astral. Right. Take this runescape masochism and stride. It's uh it's tough. Body cosmic astral. Okay. How deep do we metagame? Literally as deep as we can. There are uncountable quests that I I maintain to this day no human being will ever in their lives complete without metagaming the quest requirements and just looking at the quest requirements and doing the thing that requires the number that the quest needs. There are just some absolutely impossible, like they're not even puzzles, they're just random interactions. Going to stat spy. Can't use it against NPC. I'm pretty sure I'm going to before this quest is over. I'm, I'm pretty confident I am in fact gonna use this against that NPC before this quest is over. Just not this one. And I didn't think it would be this one. I don't think that's accurate. If between having the Dream Mentor and the 75 magic requirements, I will be surprised if we reach the end of this quest and did not have to satisfy somebody. I will be legitimately surprised. I fully expect that. To, uh, to be involved. Okay, well. 
for shell than this one. Jesus. They put all this crap away. Store all this dumpster trash back in the bank. I gotta clean all these fuckers up. Oh, I'm so lazy. I'm legitimately considering. Isn't there a dude in Narda? Okay, first of all, stand literally anywhere else in the entirety of Gelenorb Wars Retreat. The guy in Narda who does all the secondaries and also does herb cleaning, right? And I'm starting to see the value. I'm starting to come around to the value of the automated herb cleaning service. I'm starting to think it might be, you know, anything actually. Because boy, does shit take forever. <laughs> but it's herb lore XP. It's infinitesimally small amounts of herb lore XP. But you know, it adds up or whatever, probably, is what I'm gonna tell myself, copium. It, the, over time, over time, by the time we someday get to 99 herb lore, we'll probably have cleaned enough lettuce to get to like seven herb lore. And at the end of the day, isn't that what it's really about? non-zero amounts of experience that are technically making the number go up. Wait, hold on. Speaking of non-zero amounts of experience that are technically making the number go up. There's my slutty tinderbox. You may continue. Slutty tinderbox. You're well over at Discord. I mean, I'm not surprised. I just gave up on a quest. So, I mean, that's, of course, the Discord's going rectangle city. I just gave up on what is, to my understanding, one of the biggest quests in the game, just like an old school when I gave up on Song of the Elves. <laughs> so, you know, it's a recurring, it's a bonus. And like Song of the Elves, I imagine we'll complete this step in, I don't know, five to ten months. When... Some random, completely unrelated Am I the Asshole Reddit post hits you with a stroke of genius out of absolutely nowhere uh, and triggers the Jimmy Neutron brain blast that allows me to continue progressing the quest. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I do want to do this one. It seems like it's kind of big dick story energy. I know many people have many opinions on this quest. There are many thoughts, but... Real talk, this one's probably shelved until I get like a brain blast. Cause this is, this is, there is, there's not a point in coming back to this even. I mean, every now and then someone in chat will randomly come by and say like, Hey chat, it's been four months. Did he ever finish while Guthic sleeps? And then I'll put it back in my head and I'll think about it for 30 seconds. And if something occurs to me that I haven't tried already, I mean, something occurs to me. But until I have a thought, there's really, I don't even see a benefit of going back to this. I'm either like missing a guy I need to talk to or a thing I need to click on. And if it's a thing I need to click on, it's either hilariously tiny or not here. Or there is some use exactly the item ID 27095 on NPC to progress quest situation, which is, you know, just kind of how RuneScape works. So it's probably that, honestly. I'd be kind of surprised if it isn't. Okay. Give me... Oh, I took the slutty tinderbox's spot away. Sorry. You can keep your hole. You live there. That's fine. Give me all this stuff. Give me one of these. Some quests I would take a break from and come back to. You really do. You gotta come back with a fresh brain. You can stare at it literally forever and make zero progress. But what I find is most of the time, if you leave and come back, you will come back with like a, a totally different brain. And then oftentimes hangups or puzzles that you're stuck on that you can work on for hours, you will come back to later and like click on them once and go, 
wait a second, and immediately solved them. Like, the, the fresh brain has solved a nearly limitless amount of puzzles in our lives. There, Rose. Oh, this needs to be refreshed, I guess. Run Barrows, Gamba, please. Hello, Gamba machine? Hello? Hello, casino? There we go. Imagine we try to do contract class cargoes in one sitting, yeah. And then sometimes it's literally just something I'm missing entirely. Like maybe there's literally an item, it's just bucket of dirt. And I just don't even know about that because I haven't seen it. If there's a bucket of dirt item, you no know, bucket of dirt item is probably what you need. If you get stuck, we can never use the mythic hint to help you out with this. Well, that's why I got out of the pink section of the wheel, right? By the way, if you spin the wheel when there's an active Gamba, I will engage a wheel post Gamba. Surely the mythic hint. Like, I, I don't know, obviously, but... Chad has to, at some level, be frustrated with the same shit that I am. Surely the mythic clue is just a 10-page dissertation on how to use the invention skill. Hippity wappity. I'll be kind of bewildered if that's not what I get. I mean, unless I figured out by then, obviously, because that wouldn't make any sense anymore. Invention around stucking him from Wall Gothic Sleeps. The hand doesn't come out until I beat Wall Gothic Sleeps. The next hint tier is finishing all Mythic Quests. Ah, I forgot these thresholds. Oh well. They're mutually exclusive. Wall Gothic Sleeps is the first Mythic Quest, and I have to finish all of them. Oh, I was gonna hit that guy with the ocean. I was gonna be ocean, man. Now I'm just gonna be all my adrenaline is gone, man. That's way less exciting. That's okay. I might actually spend points trying to spin the wheel section of the wheel. We'll see. All the rainscape rectangles shall pray for the sex in the land, Pink. I... So when Pink gets spun... The person who gives the hint... Is the person who spun the wheel obviously you are free to consult the great rectangles of the discord but the person who spun it is the person who gets to pick it so no matter what the whims of the discord and the desires of the mods beauty is in the eye of the spinner and anything is possible what's the odds of the pink it's, it's, bro, I think it's between 1 and 2%. We could math it out. We'll math it out this barrel's under set of curiosity. It's between 1 and 2%, though. It's pretty fucking low. <laughs> Not likely. Oh no, my parayer. Breathe. Oh, the worm exploded. Flap. Therak, you're a dumb little bitch. Therak's a dumb little hoe. Neat. One two percent high for Inscape. That's true. For Inscape player base, this isn't even a low chance. Let me see. It is... We have 5, 10, 15, 20... I'm adding up weight of each slice. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 44, 48, 52, 60, 64, 68, 72, and then there is one weight on pink for 73. So it's a 1 in 73. Oh, quest really. Good call, good call, good call. Yeah, I gave up on that for now. Uh, 1 in 73 chance to spin the pink. Keep in mind... The wheel can be spun an absolute maximum of two times per day when I'm streaming RuneScape 
when the wheel's not disabled. Because there's something I want to do. If it gets spun twice. To be fair, I assume it's pretty much going to get spun twice. Any full RuneScape stream, I'll be kind of surprised if it doesn't. Shut up, bitch. Fatui. Um, you exploded. Holy shit. No, oh, Derek punched me. Mom, Derek punched me. Derek's being a dick. Hi. I love that Vanquish is even the correct flavor of melee to beat Carl's ass as efficiently as possible. Might actually have a 100% hit rate on the Barrows, boys. I guess it's not that unfathomable to have a 100% hit rate on KBD. Torag. I'm coming for your pants, buddy. Torag, you can't protect the crypt. I'm gonna get them pants. I'm gonna steal them. <laughs> Give me your pantaloons, my friend. Ooh, my neck. Bye, sir. I forgot my ghost hunter head. I gotta get the ghost hunter hat after this run. So I can hunt ghosts. I abuse the barrows loot to defeat the barrows. Where is he going? My arm. My arm is thinking. What did I say, sir? Orag thinks he can hide. He thinks he can hide the pants from me. Short dungeon. I'm coming for them pants, boy. I'm coming for them pants. I'm beelining. All gas, no brakes, motherfucker. Give me the pants. He says you dare steal from us. He means you dare steal from me. I'd like to apologize to the rat deserve this. Oh. You didn't get any pants. I still think this is probably... Whoops. The best way for me to farm Marks of War. Crows is 100. The Barrows is 50. I don't know. Do you think two Barrows runs happens in the span of a Crows? I feel like it does. Barrows is really, really fast. But Crozis isn't very long either. I have 10,000 marks of war. Because they've just been coming in real quick from Crozis 3. And I haven't even... I just haven't done Crozis 3. I haven't done much RuneScape at all recently off stream. Honestly, I've just got... I've got way too much fucking shit to do. Prepping a new start of a Pathfinder campaign. Trying to get a billion stream things together. Puppy. Puppy. Really not made a whole lot of meaningful off-stream runescape progress. Wait till the boss kills you yet? I don't know. Probably like if I were to guess, I'm gonna guess it's like 350. Maybe th it's probably between 300 and 350. I think 300 is hopeful. I can remember I can just click shovel. I give him the mix-ups from behind him. Give me old Razzle Dazzle. Strange Aeons in the distance. Strange Aeons in the distance. I made, uh, I updated that promo image from before. I have made it more cooler. It's starting to look pretty fucking good, I think. I got to go over here. I love when I kill them so fast my surge isn't off cooldown. When I get there so fast, I love adrenaline just walking. Having the Starfinder stuff. The Starfinder stuff also seems like it's going to be pretty fucking fun. I think they're both... It's going to be a lot of good. Starfinder stuff is going to be neat. Strange Aeon stuff is going to be neat. 
We got a lot of cool things coming on the UGT show. Starfinder starts, like, this weekend. That's real soon, like. We have one minor problem. Which is what it is. Which is that I'm still streaming during the Starfinder show. But realistically, as much as I really enjoy working on the UGT stuff and the Pathfinder and that whole tabletop network is a huge passion project of mine. This channel is the one that is my full-time job. This is the channel that lets me continue, like, buying food. So I can't really give up personal streams for UGT streams. I can't just, like, not stream, especially because I have several campaigns going. I can't just not stream on a couple of days. So the UGT has them open. I can note the sharks. But I feel bad. I was streaming over Not Dead Yet. I was streaming over the beginning of Not Dead Yet. Now I'm going to be streaming over all the Starfinder. Let me look, actually. Let me look at my boss skills. Where am I? What am I at? What am I at, War? 410. A little more than I thought. So... I'm a hundred off Altar of War ability cooldown reset, which literally does not matter to me at all. Um, but I am sure it will be very cool in the future. And 20 bazillion away from Adrenaline Crystal. Yeah, I guess starting a boss fight at full Adrenaline would be pretty cool. Never really, like, considered that possibility. Starting at 100 and then just fucking cock blasting a metamorphosis off the top the instant the fight starts. I'm probably up with the mimic thing a lot, actually, if I just started fucking berserking. Just walk in the room already screaming. Especially for magic and melee because they have like the buffing ults. Uthan again. Uthan, Bruiser, you have greed. That more kills her funny meme number. Ah. Funny. He who, funny fish. Here, please stop backing away from me. I'm trying to stab you with my stabber. Oh, you little bitch. He's dead. Turn my prayer off. I just ate an 1100 fucking arrow. <laughs> Owie! I was like, he's dead. I just turned my prayer off and walked out of the room. He's like, you motherfucker, blap! He got the absolute the death knell there. Pretty potent. I'll give it to him. Well played, Carl. Deserved. Any cool stuff. Me cool stuff. Give me cool stuff. I feel like Varak is weaker than the other brothers. I consistently come out of his crypt and I still have Surge on cooldown. And I think that only happens with him. Consistently, anyway. On right, today's episode of Does Aram attempt to do any damage before he dies? No. They just need to take this man's debuffing spells away. This man has lost his debuffing spell privilege. Straight up, all he does is spam attack and strength downs. While he's getting shot in the face with a gun. It doesn't help him. It doesn't make his life better. And there we go. There's square. Who's fan? The infected. <laughs> Sorry, Red. <laughs> why, you, why do you step back away from me? You're melee. Why, what are you doing? It's not how you play the video game. Point. Uno mas. 
This one feels lucky. Incorrect. Uno mas. Non-believers look sitting pretty right now. Non-believers looking real good. You have some barrows that like when Pokemon trainers use an ability to reduce his speed. <laughs> it's like, it's like when random Pokemon trainers on the street use an ability that reduces speed. Like when fucking bug catcher Tammy pulls out his Caterpie and fucking string shots while your Charmander is setting the entire forest on fire. It's <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? I think you should probably just focus on hitting me. Consider just dealing damage. I think your life would be a lot better if you just dealt a bunch of damage. What? Can't yeah, well, you just wiggle it? Oh, goodbye, my child. He's <laughs> fucking bleeding out. <laughs> Oof. The absolute organs just dropping all. Oh my god! I am so. I'm on a rampage! Holy fuck! We're, this is the backstory of why the Geneva Conventions were invented. I'm deleting everybody. What the fuck? Look at my prayer. I haven't even been in a room. I step in and they just die. They all just got bonitis. All right, if we get to if we get to Derek, we're giving him on, an honor duel. And I don't even have my side of life on, so if he blasts my fucking brain out, he blasts my fucking brain out. So be it. Uh, hello. Okay. If we get to Derek. No, oh, well, I'm gonna have a ton of prayer. It's right there. I was gonna say if we, if we do get there in an omni prayer, I'll give him the fucking honor duel. He hits me for 7,000, such is life. I ain't scared. Gonna live life on the edge sometimes. What is life without risk? But it was a very short dungeon, and I definitely still have prayer. Let's see, what do you have done things to me? That would have been 2,000. That would have been almost 200. Non-believer victory. I guess they'll stop running these campus. Nobody seems to be particularly interested in engaging in the campus. There were three people in that one. Total. But the pool all goes to the one guy who voted on no, so... Congratulations to that guy. It's today's big winner. The wheel. Everyone's saving points, spinning for the wheel. The wheel. Saren, is it working? Are we good? Can I spin it? get a pass for now wheel of fundus where are oh, it's definitely not be pink dealing with scabarabas dealing with scarab scab scabarass scarab thank you Sarah. dealing with scarabras dealing with scarab what is it what is the actual name dealing with dealing with oh it is scabarass it's not scarab okay it's the same thing. It's not Scarabrass. It's dealing with Scabarass. Dealing with Scabarass. Those are very weird requirements. I have to defeat a giant Scarab and some crap. I'll just keep on what I got on, I guess. Maybe not the ghost hunting goggles. I'll just go ahead and 
kind of happy with my setup right now, I think. Let's sort of keep this. Let's roll that one forward. All right, this is going to be way too big of a name to fill the scroll dummy moving around. Dealing with Scabaras. It's better than expected, actually. Just gives a little bit of adjustment. Dealing with Scabaradas. Going to soften him. Oop. Pick one, cannot pick a hand. No. Hand has to be hard spun. Or there wouldn't be a point having a hand slice. I admire your positivity. This fish trader just exists to buy all of the Metaphos fish, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Off we go. Yeah, picking heavy, stupid OP. We're going to soften him. Hi. Never mind. Have a nice day. I was going to throw one fireball at him and then run away giggling. It unfortunately didn't work. Because he is immune to my memes. I pick looking for the sniper rifle in Yangtze. I pick I pick killing this boss until you get this specific drop. Okay. Scabarass, Scabarabass, Scabrabase, Scabarus. The palette of Skayberry. <laughs> Scabrabris. Arscabrabris, the other state. Good day, Cassandly. Hello, man of pestilence. I have great news for you. Can't we talk about better things? Why, you're so dumb, Manifos can be friends? Oh, no, that's ridiculous. I have a corpse for you to identify. <laughs> it came over from Manifos for funeral preparation in the traditional fashion. I didn't... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I didn't kill anybody recently, I think. Uh, No, no, no. In this case, I think it's someone... In this case, it's someone I think you might know. A strange looking... Uh-oh. Red-haired woman. Looks like it was once blonde rather than red, but has recently been dyed black. Not a local, but someone who wanted to look like a local. Or to the point, we found a note on the body saying... Saying? Saying to talk to you before embalming. In this heat, you're lucky we didn't start without you. Go upstairs and see if you recognize the corpse. I... I'll put on Skate Mold once we're not in a point in the quest that seems like it's going to introduce new music. This is clearly the bottom floor. We didn't... We didn't go anywhere. Why did I have to use the ladder? We're very clearly still on the first level. The altar is right there. What are you... Why are you just lying to me? Here is the young lady whose corpse you are supposed to see. Go closer and see if you can identify her. You know her name, Ictherin's blessings will come to her faster. She, she doesn't look familiar, man. I don't know. I was afraid that might be the case. I suppose we would start the embalming process with all haste. Until it is complete, we can't be sure her spirit is at rest. I have a feeling as if her spirit could be in some great anguish. Can I de-anguish it? I wouldn't have thought so. The process of embalming is extremely grisly. I have to replace her internal organs with herbs, spices... You know, Colonel Sanders' secret mix. Certainly not a job for an amateur. I start with the brain. Oh, my brain. It's a miracle! It's a disaster! Ictherin promotes peaceful death. But she can go on to enjoy a rich and fulfilling life. I'll be defrocked for promoting revivification. Woe is me! 
You're the high priest. Just exert your religious prerogatives on your minions, dude. You run the church. You can literally tell them anything. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds promising. You two argue more quietly. I am spinning rapidly. Why can't you just be dead? The end of the day are always causing trouble. Can you just give me a moment, please? These cadaver berries aren't exactly good for digestion. Plus, I have a headache. My clothes have been ruined, and this priest won't shut the fuck up. Mesa? Who is a person that I know? From a previous encounter? Because I've met you? I can tell when I'm not wanted. I'll leave you two to your delightful reunion. Hold on, 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 hold on. Mesa, 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 Mesa. Um. Oh, the spy! The spy from Contact! Oh, okay. Sure, yeah, she's a name or whatever. Uh, okay. Hi. Obvious question, Mesa. Um, what the fuck? Why? Why were you dead? Why are you so rude to the nice priesty man? Why are you walking all the way the fuck over there to go mosh alone in the corner? Gyrating aggressively? Are you wearing a yellow shirt or is your chest just a completely different color from your face? Because your face is a somewhat modern character model and your chest hasn't been touched since 2003. All things are real questions with real answers. Excuse my vagueness, but you just awoken from a drug-induced stupor. Can you pick one question at a time? Why are you here? Well, you know that my partner, Khalif, was slain below the city by those foul scabarous creatures. Uh-huh. Since then, I've been researching how to take revenge upon them, and... I think I have a lead or two. Unfortunately, you know, I'm busy with stuff, so you do it. What do you need? I have learned there is a quite extensive tunnel system above the area we investigated, though quite why this is, I am not sure. What I do know is the entrances near here have been sealed up for ages. Probably because of the scabarites. Probably because of the scabarites. How does this help? Eh? Uh. What may be useful is that I have also discovered that there are tunnels leading from the east coast of the desert into those below Sophanim. Let me go down there. Why don't you go down there? I like murder. I suppose you should talk to the high priest of Ictharin first, though. I wouldn't want to cause too much of a diplomatic incident. I don't want my job to be harder than it is already. Why did you- why the corpsing? Why? But well, as you know, passage between the cities is still rather restricted, and I'm not exactly keen to be searched, prodded, or investigated too closely. So I pretended to be a corpse with no privacy. Well, all of my- I would be investigated so closely that all of my organs would be physically pulled out of my body. You're dumb. He sent Khalif to his doom without a single qualm. He's up to far more bad than good. I sometimes regret having made my vows to the service of al Karid. Just rain trouble in the neighborhood. I'm loyal to Al Karid, if not the big O, so I'll not speak anymore. In fact, it's better you forget even what little I said. She fucking hates Osman, fair enough. So, how's, how's it been? How's your day? Fuck you. No news is the opening of Manifos. It seems like the Pharaoh is intending to make the town more self sufficient, which might be a sign he's aiming for more rather than less isolation in the future. What do you think? I say what I'm told to say. Which, in this case, is very little indeed. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I guess I'm good to go. Okie dokie. Skateboard it is. Good day, Cassandra Lee. Hi. You talk with that odd woman. Yeah, she said I uh, talked to you about his mission. I am pleased she realizes my great importance. Okay, but, uh, 
Why would I be upset? I pride myself on my humility and my pleasant nature. So, what if I went and murdered a shit ton of scabarites? I heard from some so-called archaeologists who are investigating to the east. There might be scabarites. I have no qualms with you sending them to Ichthyrin's deathly care. However, what's the however? I must remind you before you do so that the Scabarest religion has a very useful specific reason, reason for existence. Should you run into the high priest of Scabarus, try to pacify him rather than just, you know, murdering him. I am sure that this is all some sort of misunderstanding. We can eventually have peace. Sure. Anyway, those archaeologists headed east. I'd leave it that direction if I were you. We're gonna go in the weird swamp. We're going to the weird swamp, boys. I'm gonna grab like a shit ton of food. Because the desert dungeon clown fiesta quests really like just having you run through a 30 floor dungeon shit packed with mobs hitting you with all three combat styles constantly. So I'm just gonna get like a bunch of food. These banks exist now, right? Cool. Appreciate your services, thank you. Like that many. They also involve either picking up 12 quadrillion random items or literally zero, and there is no middle ground. I'm gonna go experience desert heat. Can I make a shortcut? Like, due to the east of here? And traps. And traps! Also, lots of traps. I believe our archaeological friends are right up there. With all the mummies. So I want to go up there, ignore all of the mummies, and then just move on with my day. Found the pixel. Good clicking. Ouch. Hello, friends! How you doing? Greetings, Wanderer. Is there any particular reason you've come to visit our humble camp? I'm going on an adventure. I'm trying to find a way into the areas beneath this region. It's not like a giant obvious cave. You got any assistance? I might be able to help. Even though your appearance isn't quite that of a researcher, you've needed someone to perform some business with a wily dealer in artifacts. Should I? I'm sorry. Oh. In return, I'll help you out. Wily folks, can I outsmart me? I have the questing brain cell. What do you need? I need to talk to a certain Simon Templeton, but first to require you to prove your mathematical competence. Are you gonna make me do a- are you fucking serious? Alright, hit me. You want a fucking math test? Always round down to the nearest whole number. So 17 divided by 10 is 1. Hate this, but okay. What's the largest of these three numbers? If there's more than one possible answer, just pick one. The largest? You literally have eight- You have both 81 multiplied by a number and 81 multiplied. This is, li first of all, literally just a math test. Second of all, this is literally like, what is bigger, one or two? Like, are you serious? <laughs> What's bigger, one or two? Correct, 202 is the largest of those. So think a bit more routine. Let's 202 plus 82 plus 84. That would be 202 plus... 166, which would be 368. Great stuff. You can do basic addition. I don't know why a part of a fucking quest is literally just a math test. <sighs> Hold nearest whole number. 368 plus half of 76. Why would that... Why would I round? What am I rounding? What? Wait, what, what part is rounded? <laughs> Bitch, 76 is even. What the fuck? <laughs> is the am I being debated? Hold on, is the, is this a scam? If it's random for player, um, maybe I'm really afraid that there's a trick question in here somewhere, and I'm triple fucking giga checking this because on the surface, it's just three sixty eight plus thirty eight. It's just 406, but like, I'm afraid. 
Am I getting scammed? That answer is, am I getting fucking scammed? Okay, round down, 406 divided by 4. 101. I had to round that one, I guess. So, like, that one involved rounding. There is the significance. This was a... They... Why is that a part of a quest? Why is literally just do arithmetic? They straight up, it was just a math test. What? Why? Who was like, you, you know what the kids love? Math homework. Put math homework in our RuneScape quest. Anti space bar measures, maybe. All right, what's Stapleton want? He wants six ancient bronze two handed swords. You need to deliver one golden artifact from the top of the agility pyramid and. This quest sucks. Do the agility pyramid and then do a bunch of pyramid plunder. Okay. I guess I'll do that later. But, like, what about the bronze antiques? Is that part actually, like, a quest, at least? More of an issue, but we have a plan. You take modern bronze items, distress them, and pass them on to Simon as antiques. Distress them. The technical term for making a new object look older. You can do it with some camel dung. Rub it into the object while under the hot desert sun. It'll be done in no time. I do literally anything else. This quest sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is literally just busy work. So that's just for the bronze gear. I guess let's go get a fucking pyramid topper. This isn't even a quest! This is just shitty mini games. Surely at this point I have enough agility to just do this without having to turn on the aura, right? This is an interesting This is an interesting spot in the like the bad quest design paradigm. Because there's a huge variety of bad quests. You have quests that are badly written. You have quests that are just bad ideas. You have quests that are badly executed. There's an incredible variety of bad quests in RuneScape. But this might be the most, like, I've ever felt personally offended by a quest. This quest is like an insult to your intelligence. It's just like, hey, go waste a bunch of time. No part of it's going to be a quest, and no, we're going to make no attempts to make it interesting. Just go, like, I don't know, do an agility course, and just, like, play a minigame a bunch of times, or whatever. And then go just, like, do some smithing. And then go fuck around in Hall of Needs for a while. None of these are quest specific. I mean, the distressing the bronze thing is at least like a unique mechanic. You little bitch. So at least that one's unique to the quest. Play this quest is worse than the insult to intelligence. I don't know. 
passing off just do an agility course and go do a mini game as a quest is is pretty insulting to my brain capacity I'm looking at the numbers that are popping up as I'm doing this pyramid. Oh, wait, it's all doubled. Right, I have bonus XP. I was gonna say, am I crazy or is Agility Pyramid straight up better XP than Heads Oasis, but I have bonus XP. Okay, well, there's that. First random article of busy work. Completed. Ah, yes! A mini game, you say? Hello! How you doing? Hey, Cassandra Lee, glad you could come chat. Here to offer you the chance of a lifetime. I've seen you running around, I think you've got what it takes. Oh, awesome, what do I do? Well. Welcome, Squidling, to the Squiddy Pool. I don't think I've done this on stream, punk. Button. <laughs> I'll take this. Aradris. 911, 18 months, a year and a half in a squiddy pool. You were the shiniest squidling. All right, hold on. We need to know. We need uh Don't skip the introduction. I want to know. Naka had been looking forward to this. You playing? Put the thing in the other thing. I like this one a lot. It's my favorite event. Is it? Wait, that's the real name of the thing? No, I see how it is. Sandy Lee has a problem with our naming convention. I might have guessed. This is a thankless job. Who takes knock and scrambles hard work for granted? What you name it instead? I don't even know what it is. Well, that's easy. There are three pedestals with holes. You have to find the shape that fits each one and put it inside. And fill all holes before time run out. Simple. So what you call event, Cassandra Lee? I die fair enough, I guess. Then say it with me. Time to play. Put the thing in the other thing! Let's go! Oh, I can't see shit. That's just a foot. That's just a fucking foot. I like how she put it upside down, but it counted. There's a skull. And there's a sword. I'm putting the thing in the other thing. I'm doing it. I put the thing in the other thing! I'm so good at stuff! I won! Hello? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, where'd you come from? Nobody ever wins! Not gonna think you forget now, too. What? Oh, yeah, shit. She's been in here, hasn't she? You should make these events harder or something. I can't apply it an interruption. Yes, you change games. Not gonna stay here. Put feet up. Uh, fair enough. All right, hurry up. We haven't got all day. Not got reading. Get on with it. All right, time to shine. I'm back once again, fresh from glory, victorious, and full of uh, victory. <laughs> oh, that 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 was your victorious speech. This is turning into a damn shit show. You mean that one already? You're not even mentioned risking yet. I'm getting to that. Okay, so you can risk the experience you've earned if you want to. No pressure. You can open this fancy box to take a risk for more experience. Maybe it doubles your XP. Maybe it cuts it in half. Maybe it stays the same. An even chance for all three. Open the box or leave by the door behind me. Scout will take you back to where you came from. Fucking hurry up and pick! We got stuff to do! God damn it! <laughs> Alright. I don't know, chat. Do I risk my precious agility XP with the risky box? It might double it. It might cut it in half. It might literally do nothing. It could do anything. It could even do nothing. Here's my logic. Chad obviously is going to want to gamble. Here's my logic. It's only a one in three chance to get worse. And say the reward is a thousand XP. It's XP, right? So it's objectively better to gamble. I think even if two of the outcomes were half and one of them was double, I still think it might always be objectively correct to gamble. 
say their reward is 8,000 XP. It's probably going to be somewhere in that ballpark. If you pull half, you lose 4,000 XP. If you win, you get 8,000 XP. You're not risking 8,000. You're risking 4,000. You're risking, like, four laps of an agility course to get eight laps of an agility course. Like, you're risking five minutes of agility for ten minutes of agility. It's I, it's always worth it. I think it could the, the nothing could be a have, and it would still always be worth it. It's also like nothing. I thought it was way bigger than... Yeah, fuck, I don't give a shit. That's fucking nothing. Have that shit. I don't even guess one agility course lap. <laughs> nothing happened. Oh, that could have been worse. You have a positive outlook and good things happen to you. Oh shit, it's this guy. Honk. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I lost the house. <laughs> I swear to God, it's usually way bigger than that. It must be a random amount of XP on, like, a huge slider. Or I'm insane. I'm confident it's usually way bigger than that. Oh, I just want to put a bunch of this food away. Because I'm going to go... Just, like... Do pyramid blunder, I guess. <laughs> well, it's time to play some fucking RuneScape, my guys. And hit me with those. Throw on this motherfucker. Poison my purge. Let's go. It's time for crime. Hey, hold on. I need my slutty tinderbox. This is the slutty tinderbox situation, if there's ever been one. I fucking desperately wish blank bank placeholders weren't as fucking stupid as they are. Okay. I'm curious if I decide to make a part do nothing instead of 50-50 half double. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just that what you get is a completely flat amount of XP. And I haven't done the pit in a while. And it was just way, way more when I was, like, nine agility. Oh, shit, I didn't bring lockpicks. That's probably fine. Garbage. Boosh. Garbage. I do appreciate that it tells you lockpicks these things there. What the fuck's my thieving? How high can I go? I don't even know how far I can go. Boosh. Raid the fancy things in case they have fancy stuff. Nothing. Because I'm looking for fancies, which I feel are more likely to come out of cool stuff. There we go. Next trap, please. Yeah, me. Garbage. Yeah, me. <laughs> Garbage. Also a dickhead. Ah. It's fucking rude. Damn it. What floor is this? Or What the fuck? Is like a loot room back there? I don't even know how far I can go. <laughs> I don't even know what my limit is. I, uh... Garbage. Sick trash, bro. Okay, I'm gonna start searching it all now. See, a pyramid shop and pyramid blunders. This question do desert things? Later, really, yes. This quest is just do shit in the desert. Give me. Give me trash. Give me. Ow. And surely it's gone by now. 
Oh, fuck. He probably went to sleep. Hear me? Trash. Hear me? I wish there weren't 27 varieties of loot so that you could just put them on a, the action bar and just mash a button to drop everything. But there's like 109 different drops. Careful, there are snakes. Oh, is that just get 20 in a row without getting Sheboyganed? I guess you could like actually search the pot. Why the fuck would I do that when I could just mash on it? <laughs> I ain't got that kind of patience. Okay, I don't know how many rooms I got. I'm gonna keep going. You gold? One. One thingy. Still, still one. Apparently, I've never been here. So, that's progress. Uh, over there. Up all this shit. Ah! Owie. Hear me. Gold? That's two. Hear me. Oh, there's an asshole. Crime. Crime. And how far can I go? How many fucking floors can I do? Okay, no, that's it. There's six as far as I can. Okay. Ow. He's probably gone. I bet he left. Crime. Three. Crime. Crime. Ow, fuck. Everyone has snakes with the exception to object permits. No, I just... Cassandra Lee doesn't have object permanence. Ow, fuck. Cassandra Lee just doesn't have object permanence. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. Guys, I think there's a snake in here. Ow, fuck. Ow, God, it's like there's a snake in here or something. There we go, crime. The pyramid butter is so stupid. This is such a dumb mini game. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Surely this thing will be there the seventh time. What a stupid fucking minigame. Holy shit. God damn. Wait, is this side? This side is where it was. Come here, little dick. Come here. I'm doing my crime. I got my lockpick again. It's okay, I'll get it later. What a shit show. Oh, my brain's too smooth for this, man. My brain's too fucking smooth for this shit. Cool. Quick game is good for kids long back a third time. Get me. Get me. I don't think you even start getting gold stuff until four or five. I don't know if there's any point to doing the lower level floors. Push. Push. Push wall. Damn, it's hard to even like get to the bottom floors. I mean, I guess you, you could just not loot anything. That's probably what I should do. I'd probably should just not be looting this shit on floor 2. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop looting this. Because I want more time to loot the later floors. I think the correct answer is to not loot anything on the first three floors. And then, like... Just loot 
the main things on, or maybe like the first two, and I can loot these on three and four, and then I can try to loot all the stuff on five and six. Howie. The trap's slow as fuck. I'm sure you can just run past it. it takes like an hour to fire. Give me. Ah, oh, god damn it. I hate pyramid plunge. I hate this place. This, this place sucks. Ah! I'm chewing on my ankles! Oh my fucking god, pathing, please. Hear me. Push. Fuck. On the floors, they can drop them now, so now I'm seven, I'm not getting them. Ah, four. Almost halfway there. Just need fucking six more, is all. Okay, let's do the middle thingies last. Because they spawn dickheads. Aha! The power invested in me by crime. Free shit. Ooh! Oh, I was this so good. Okay, I got my healing poison back. The sauce of happiness runs through my veins once more. Ouch. Come on, give me gold things. Ouch. I guess if I don't, ouch, lose anything until the last floor. Ouch. I can get basically everything. I guess the system I have, but I, how does this map working okay? drop on the ground yes okay so no the secrets have a full inventory and does not give a shit and then i'll just pick stuff up if it happens to be gold garbage oh boy look at all this trash ow fuck oh, bitch i'm gonna open these hold on whoosh gold thing oh come on from the big one thingy. Ouch. <gasps> yes. Progress. Progress. Okay, I'm collecting things. Now let me slowly drag 27 different items out of my inventory. I guess I could keep buying the three stone things, seeing as those seem to be the ones that drop the most by a lot. All right. We're over halfway there. We have six out of ten. Lock pick. There, now I can be a peeker. That team in the chat box seems obnoxious to complete. Not really. It's pretty straightforward, actually, because you, you don't have to just, like, mash your face in the pots. You can check the pots. You can right-click and check the pots for snakes, but it, like, takes forever. And most of the pots don't have a snake. So, what, what the fuck is... I don't have a scepter to recharge. Fuck out of here. I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm gonna loot. Do the thing, damn thing we did before. It seems to be working pretty okay. Yeah. If it was fully RNG, you would just do it by looting everything on the bottomest possible floors, where it's, like, an 11 thieving requirement. Zach was keep inventory full. You're right. That's the objectively correct play. However, I'm stupid. So, I'm gonna learn nothing from my experiences and keep doing the same shit. I hate learning. Learning offends me, personally. I've always been jealous of people that can react to outside stimulus and improve based on their past experiences. Those people are like fucking wizards to me. I'm gonna hard drop all the pottery shit. I 
and then hopefully. Cool. I'll keep buying the stone ones. We're not here for objectively correct. We're here for twitch.tv slash squiddish. We're here for just stupid idiot gameplay. I don't even know if these ones... I'm pulling pottery at these fuckers. Jesus. I, I, it's probably not worth touching anything before floor four. Always miss this one. This little fucking secret door right here. Let me in. I'm gonna go commit crimes. Thank you. Damn it. Ow. Oh, it's time to pray. Thank you. Take a little prayer, Sippy. Call it a day. Take a little, little bit of Sippus. The magical prayer sauce. Oosh. I wasn't looking, obviously, on account of I didn't have any fucking prayer. A oh, gold, yes. Seven. Seven of golds. We're getting there. Ah. Final floor. All of the magical pots. Full of cool golden things. Fuck. Also snakes. Sometimes. Sometimes they're snakes. Me? Come on. Gimme. Gimme. Gold. Fuck. Now this one, this one, I feel it. This is the fancy urn. That's where they keep the gold ones. Now, this is the big fancy urn. That's definitely where they keep the gold ones. Look, it's like between two torches. It's on the clearly expensive side of the room. Son of a bitch. Give. Glod. What am I going to do? I'll do that. rubbing my fucking finger across all the thumb buttons on my mouse. <laughs> Gold Scarab! Yes! Eight. Progress. Still, still eight. Come on. You got it, little buddy. You can do it. Eight, though. Two to go. We got two big things to loot. I mean, the math works out. Yay! One more. Uno Moss. I should have kept those so they'd be like a barrier on the fucking clay stuff. Alright, there we go. I'm ready. Okay, new plan. We're gonna follow the plan this time instead of just talking about it and then not doing it. This floor is stupid and I'm leaving. There's not any gold on this floor. I guess it's not floor, it's just room. This room suck on the poo poo. Okay, cool. Next room. <clears throat> I think up was aggressive. This room suck on the poo. Really glad I brought a fucking lockpick to fail on floor two. This room suck on the poo poo. Next room. Following the flame of thought. Fuck! This isn't my streamer! Aha! Now I'll start looting big things. Because maybe the big things can have gold on this floor. I'm not sure. They fucking can! You can tell by the way it is! I might as well finish the run, I guess. No, I, fuck it. Why would I do that? Why would I fucking do that? Get me the fuck out of here. I hate this place. What if, for what fucking possible reason would I finish the run? Why'd that thought even enter my head? All right, good work, everyone. We plundered a pyramid. Okay.
I need six. Pockets. Let me get them. I need home teleport runes. And I need to go make a camel commit dookie. Did I just get Menaphos rep for teleporting to my house from the basement of Sofanem? Did I see that correctly? Ah, yes. Hello. I would like special kebab sauce. I... Oh my god, this is so much space barring. I need six of these. not giving me more sauce I only have one sauce why is he not giving me more sauce what a great use of the space bar holding scene I just made <laughs> holy shit incredible production value I just made that like Tuesday and then I was thinking I wonder if I'm going to get any opportunity to use this in the new future because I don't know what's going to have and then I just got the greatest space bar holding content ever Wait, wait, you're not. Oh, you get multiple buckets. Out. Okay, that's fair enough. That's better. Well, it turns out I didn't need it because you can just literally scoop as much shit as you want out of this. These camels poop an unlimited amount of dookie and also the sauce is bottomless. They, I am, as they say, lost in the fucking sauce. <laughs> uh, off we go. On a goddamn adventure. <laughs> Camel shit was less shit than you expected. There you go. Bottomless sauce and bottomless shins. I have a holding space bar scene now. And for those that asked earlier, because it hasn't come up yet. I did make this one too. Or later. I got us. I got us ready for business. Okay, I did some things. I made some progress. The gas, gas, gas music is supposed to fucking blast, but maybe it blasts slightly too hard. The broken or just Jagex music definitely needs to be turned down a little bit. That one's not supposed to be like overwhelming. That's supposed to just be there. Gas, gas, gas is supposed to fuck. That's, that is itself the content. That's its own thing. Okay. Well. I tried to avoid it, chat. Can I just go buy these from a store? Do you like sell these in Varrock? I don't want to go mine bronze. Please. Maybe a little flashing. We stream video games. Uh, please. I'm in the armor store. Hold on. This isn't the sword store. This isn't where you buy swords. Two-handed, there's a two-handed sword store. It's the Warrior's Guild. I need to remember the Warrior's Guild exists. On account of they just sell everything. And I need to stop going to any other store. And just go to the Warrior's Guild. That's the store for body swords. 
Uh, Warriors Guild. Which is gonna somehow be involved in Tears of Gothics, because ability to enter this place is part of the requirements for some reason. Which is curious, if nothing else, I'm definitely interested. Push the Bing Gang from Bong Gang. Fair enough. I want slashing weapons. I would like all of your claws, please. Maybe I get lucky. We did increase. We like indirectly. So what's the junk chance decrease? Fairly significant, I think, actually. I feel like that went down from like 64 to 55 or something like that. It's, it's a significant decrease. So we theoretically, we've indirectly increased our chances of getting uncommon components from things by reducing the junk chance. I need the banana slam on this. Sharp's not what we wanted. Swift is what we wanted. There's one. We got one. That's cool. I don't think we're getting four out of the steals, but you know, maybe. I need my fishing rod back. Need the re-fisherman. No amount of slightly reduced junk chance is gonna help these fucking steel pieces of shit, though. That is still a lot... I feel like that's a lot lower. I think that's a significant reduction in the junk chance. Cool. Okay, neato. Anyway, why was I here? Right, bronze swords. <laughs> Got distracted. I would like six of these, and then I shit you not... I'm just going to go rub poop all over them. BRB. Because that's what we're doing today. We're questing. We're adventurers. Making progress. Bong Bing is superior. Bong Bing. Bong Bing's weird. Bong Bing's a weird one. I mean, I've had people tell me about Bong Bing, but I don't know. It, it's just, it feels like feels too different. It's like, I don't know if I got that kind of energy for Bong Bing. Am I like in the shade? The sun set in the south? I also apparently only needed one bucket of dookie for all of this, so it was a double wash. Not only did I not require six buckets of hot sauce, I didn't even require six buckets of dookie in the first place. <laughs> Alright, I have all your crap. I got a bunch of disgusting shed swords. Taurus AC. It didn't even use the bucket. I still have six buckets. I'm just covered in dookie. I'm just carrying... That's the real... The real point ploy this quest plays is to trick you into carrying a comical amount of fucking dookie. I have a very stinky box. Okay, here is all the things you asked for. I have done all the random mini games of the desert. I plundered a pyramid. I did an agility... I fucking gas, gas, gas through some camel shit. Can I be done now? This was not a quest. Oh, you're ready to head up to Templeton for us. Good. What do you want? Six angel bronze splendid swords. I deliver one golden artifact from the top of the agility pyramid and ten gold objects from pyramid plunder and soften them. I have all that. Okay, she's just giving me the same dialogue. Okay. So I just take it to him directly, I guess.
Okay. Okie dokie. Kind of interesting they had a soft requirement. Like, this quest got a soft requirement of 60 crafting, and if you can't do it, the archaeologist can just do it for you. That's neat. I don't think I've seen anything do that before. I've been thinking about it. I'm going to nerf the gas 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 a little bit, too. I think it's just slightly too loud. It's supposed to be fucking loud, but it's too much. It's too much loud. I'm going to nerf it. We can always buff it again later. Okay. Hello, Mr. Templeton. Hello. Hey, mate. Hey, monitor to voice this guy. I'm looking for you. Warn you once. Never take me alive. No. Really? I'll spill the beans. What you after? I want to talk. Oh, how the turns table. It's my turn to walk up to somebody and immediately drop the annoying ass archaeology line while they probably have something else going on with their fucking day. It's I'm the NPC now, Simon Templeton. I want to talk. Don't you fucking bite me. look at him. I just want to talk about some archaeology, my guy. Show away, sport. Um. What do you know about underground areas to the east? Bet this bit of that. Those ruins are older than self and have a for sure. Pull some documents out before them creepy crawlies took over. Those scabrites are new there. Seems so, but don't ask me why. All that research stuff is ancient history to me now. If you pardon me, pun. Just gathering cash and that's it. As for what, what the fuck do you spend your money on? Come on, sport. We be better to stick your snout in. With snout where it might end up sliced off? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I have more questions. I was told to give you some stuff. Right? Oh! I'll never be able to fill that order. Not the brightest knives in the old armory. We're not yet supplied the ten gold objects appeared from plunder and soften them. The golden agility artifacts still required to create a six ancient bronze two handed sword is still missing. I have all of that. Wow, this dialogue. This is an intern quest. Tell me you're an intern quest without telling me you're an intern quest. Now, oh, got everything I need for my latest deal. Here's the receipts. You can tell those near to Wells. You've done the business. Glad to be a service. Nice thanks, too. I fooled a customer. Don't try it again, eh? Right, okay. I'll do a little job for you if you're willing. Just come talk to me about the artifacts when you get the chance. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't click the pixel. I found the pixel. Why is that lizard stayed there the entire time? That's how aggro works. It's dropping shit all over the game. Seems you found Simon Templeton double the business matters. Maybe you lost all the trade items. Were laid out by waylaid by bandits or suffered some other mishap. Here's a receipt, gotcha. Excellent, excellent. My finances are at least secure now. Just need a little more information from you. What? Need some research materials to be going on with, but you're almost certainly possessed by the local denizens. What materials and what denizens? Got the four bits of information for the local area and copy them in this nice journal. Killing anything other than crocodiles will do it. You learn be by murder. <laughs> okay. Let me go get my weapon and food back. You know, I never, I say you never really know a man until you've murdered him. <laughs> you should say something else. <laughs> like. A lizard was aggroed. He was trying to slap me that whole time. They're ornery little fuckers. Lizard. 
He's an angry little bitch. He gets nippy. He's like Zagreus. He gets real bitey if you let him. You gotta, you gotta be firm, yet fair. With your lizard boys. You ran through the nippy one? They're all the nippy one. They're lizards. They're just made of teeth and fear. Their own fear. They just run away from everything pretty much immediately. I'm gonna keep this bucket of camel poo as a memento. I'm gonna hang on to that one. Keep it right next to my fish. <laughs> Let's keep this bucket of literal shit next to my fish pile. I'm gonna go ahead and make the executive decision to bring this in case it becomes important. You know, no particular reason. Just it's a quest in the desert. Don't leave home without a fucking anti-poison on the pixel. All right, out we go. Doing some good business. We're doing some good business today, everybody. We're making progress. We're questing. I like questing. Questing's a good time. He said. Attempting to convince himself more than anyone else. While the design of this quest is insulting to me as a player, it's the time waster 10,000 Tron. At least it doesn't actively suck to do. It just so far hasn't really been a quest. It's just been go engage with some other random desert minigame. It's not like Summer's End or the other summer quest or has a wide variety of quests that just like suck horribly. Hey, fuck you. You wanna poke? I'll fucking poke. I'll get to poking. I'll fucking poke the shit out of you. Yeah. I learn anything. And learn anything. Oh, they're not. Oh, he's he's also a melee guy. He's just a melee guy on a horse. Fuck this guy, no ranging. I'm getting shot. Just give me the fucking blippy. Little bitch! He's good. That's literally just a horse. There's nobody on this one. Ah, that's a thing I need. Maybe I should be using them. Let me log. Let me log. Wait a second. It's the log I didn't have the other day. Is that part of this? Huh? Put that in there. Put that in there. I'll read all these in a minute. Help. I'll, re I'll read them later. I'm kind of fucking busy right now. I don't know how many I need. I have no idea how to tell when I'm done. Ooh, pizza. Ooh, cosmic runes. Zap up! See that? Up the log. Continue bapping. Little bitch. You little bitch. You little bitch. It's this book. Ooh, two of random. I am whippity whappity. Did I win? I don't won. I don't see me dropping anything anymore. The fuck did you just say to me? Nope. More notes. Just didn't get anything for a sec. You ain't spinning, you ain't winning, boy. I like murder. Those guys respawn pretty quick, so that's nice. I have a lot of gems. Not that matters in this game. Log. Okay. Another one. Honk. I might need to copy each one for the next one shows up. Nope. Incorrect. Next one. Copy. 
I better eat this pizza. I'm getting hungry. Dude fucking died. Ooh, 55 more less. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. What the fuck? Okay. Very fucking random. Still got any more of them, uh... Random piece of paper. Raptor scam. I don't think I've gotten... I haven't gotten anything from Raptor any of the times I've used it on Cal Fight King. I don't really want to use it on next, but I'm pretty sure the event's gonna end before I go get a frozen key. Because I have to, like, go do that. Okay, now are we done? God damn it. The secret's to give up hope. You think you've given up hope. And then you just gotta find that last little bit of hope. And give- we're gonna be reading so much fucking paper here in a second. I apologize to anyone to whom the ASMR narration of my stream is not your favorite part. We're about to read a lot of fucking text. Holy shit, there's so many of these. Battle stack. Cool. Blood runes? Cool. Okay. Hold that. Take one of these. Take one of those. Take some of this. Step forward, child. Goodbye. How the fuck do I know what I'm done? <laughs> desert goat horns. Drop, I guess. I have no idea how I would know when this is over. They just keep dropping. <laughs> they just keep dropping! How many fucking notes are there? <laughs> I've killed so many people! <laughs> Shit about the herb bag. Holy fuck. I didn't think I was gonna kill him. I didn't think this was a slayer task. Okay, Jesus. What is this fucking quest, man? What is happening? So far, this quest has been go do a lap of an agility course for no reason. Go do a mini game for no reason. Go do a slayer task for no reason. This is just a slayer task. With extra steps. This is a World of Warcraft quest. That's what this is. This is just a World of Warcraft quest. With a low drop rate. Like a vanilla World of Warcraft quest. Not like a modern World of Warcraft quest. After they invented fun and things that are cool. Oh, there's one. Hippity wappity. Bring me 17 locust asses. I'm doing it. I can't fucking believe we're still picking these up. Holy fuck. I can't. How many are there? How is this still going? Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Let's have research materials. Oh my god, wow. Wait, really? Did I just pick exactly the right time to look, or do you not need everything? There's no way I picked, like, the tick perfect. I'm actually done. 
Oh, what are the fucking chances of that one? Holy shit. Okay, well, cool. <laughs> this is J Mod coding more into the game. There are like two sentences. This is J Mod frantically fucking typing out lines of dialogue for me to keep looting, and this quest can go on forever. Okay. You guys ready for 16 minutes of reading? Because I hope you're ready for like 16 minutes of reading. Oh my god, it's 14 pages. <laughs> what the hell is this quest? Okay. ASMR reading time with Squiddish. The foresters are most incompetent of late. The claims that sources of wood are becoming scarce smacks of laziness. I shall have them flogged if quotas are not fulfilled. The furnaces must remain lit. Another setback. The deliveries of timber we were expecting have arrived, but are in the form of bank certificates. Well, we could burn them, I fear it will not be much use. For now, I've had them stored with the other certificates. It appears as if a litterness has forsaken us. Armies led by vile misbelievers are smiting the northern settlements. Uzer is under siege, and it cannot be long before we're also under assault. The outside areas may fall. We should be secure in the tunnels beneath Ulek. It has come to retreat. I can only blame myself for the next revelation I must make to the survivors. We're low on timber, and the ventilation will ultimately fail as a result. The vast stalks of dried dung in which I had placed faith for fuel in such an emergency are soaking wet and infested with some sort of giant maggot. That's bad for both morale and health. I fear this is simply a reflection of our current dire situation. I only pray we're not forced to starvation in the dire choices that would entail. Hickthorin has not taken us after all. So many died in these stinking warrens. We few have survived. This is just the backstory of the warrens from Darkest Dungeon. Travel to self and have other survivors. Vowed to pray for a temple, blah, blah. Scabrite custom dictates. Outer gateways are sealed. No disturbances. Fortuitous discovery. Large stock of order. May even allow some of the less pious worshippers to breed. <laughs> We've relaxed breeding rules. More of the young seem to think we should leave the darkness explore the outer areas. Scabrous insane shit. Didn't reply directly. I had a vision. A female with a red sheened carapace and antenna spoke to me. The destruction of all other life allows us isolation. We'll break through the surface and kill everything. We will bring silence to the non-believers. The chasm has proven to be a dead end to us for the moment. The external trek's good, though. We found some large creatures. We captured some for research. Some dead but moving ones. That's weird. Breakthrough. The leaping creatures have made us send warriors up to the chasm. They report a large area of tunnels, traps, which should be effective against the soft-skinned humans. Contact. We killed a bunch of dudes. After emerging into the outer areas of a settlement, I'm worried that contact might be slowing the forces of instructed traps be used so pollution doesn't occur. Female reappeared, nourished for more destruction. The dream square of mind is torn. Tweaks for scabrous, and I shall follow. Now I realize there are two minds within me, and neither is strong enough. I am cursed, paralyzed by indecision. Why the fuck? This dude's lo he's losing his mind. The high priest seems to be wandering in his mind, so we follow his last instructions. Scabrous wishes to destroy all outsiders. We killed one, but our largest guardian to guard the area was found. Okay. The poop is still here. It can't have been that long. It feels like it's been 10 years. Gather some Great. Seems like you've got some initial research materials. Yup. Got a lot of cool stuff for you. Hint, hint. Excellent. Excellent. Merge with a summary of our theories on the area and a key. Cool. What's the key do? Manufactured after research upon a locked door in the ruins of the north. Every indication we have is the tunnel leads. The door leads to the tunnels you're seeking. Warn you entering these ancient tunnels is likely to expose you to who knows what kind of ancient fucking diseases and probable death. Oh, but also valuable loot and information. Heaps of loot. Here you go. I add more? Okay, well, why haven't you used the key? Oh, I'm a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did you add more pages to this? No, okay. Let's... Now we can start the quest. <laughs> Good news, everyone! We can start the quest! Why are there 50 sealed doors? Oh, this isn't that. Conquest. Is it stairs down?
Fuck. Escape the Dark? Sorry, we just got a new song. I'll play Escape Dark after. Hello there, Golem. Gotta have a Golem. Where's my Golem? This was my Golem? This was my Golem. Greetings. It has been some time since I saw a real human. I thought perhaps you were all dead. I can't speak for anyone else, but I'm here. What's this place? This is the entrance to the storehouses of Ulek. Not that I expect Ulek exists anymore. Is this one better? Or is this one better? What's this one? I like Oh, this is the this is the better one. This is the robot voice. Here we are. At the moment, an infestation of not human humans. They have altered the locking mechanism on the doors here. It is hard for anyone, even then, to get in or out. That sounds scabber, right? They like their little safety hull. How do I get in? If you stoke up the furnace opposite, I will be able to allocate power to each of the four levers in the next room. If you can pull all of these levers in short succession, the doors should open. Okay. Well. Okay. I, I can allocate the most power to start with. Unless... But less still, until the fourth lever will have very little power allocated at all. In past days, the mechanisms were somewhat more reliable. Why is... Oh, thank God, I'm not getting an item checked here. Hey, details, please. Let's... So... I mean, I see there's a huge fucking bug in one of these rooms, but... That one looks like it's across a pit. God, they're all skill checks. <laughs> all skill checks. <laughs> what lever do you want to know about? I don't care, dude. Let's start with that one. Applying power here will cleanse the greasy pipe with a jet of steam, making it simpler to cross to the lever. The more power, the more steam, and the simpler it becomes. Now we have to pick what order I want my challenges to happen in. What's up with this empty fucking room? Applying power here will loosen the lever mechanism, making it easier to operate. Be strong, girl. Okay, how about... the giant fucking bug? Kill it. Okay. What about the mysterious box? I don't know what that is. Probably do it first, question mark, something, something, thieving. Oh, okay. I guess I'm good. Thank you. Stoke or Nachi? Are we really... Do we really have a used logger? I like how it calls out I use fire making to make the fire. Oh, there, Golem. I'm ready. I'm ready to levers. Note that if you don't finish setting the power levels in one go, you'll have to restoke the furnace. Where do I apply the most power? Mysterious box room, please. Then probably the agility room. Steam clean some of the grease out, then the empty room. And then I can just fight the bug. I'm not worried about the bug. I'm not worried about the bug. All right, now it's time for random skill checks because this quest hasn't had any of those yet. Random skill checks, go! Well, so far we're passing the random skill checks, that's cool. Investigate mysterious mechanism. I'm in hell. 
That's the only possible answer. I'm in hell. Shit, it was this one. I died and I went to hell. Because I was a bad person in life, I guess. the pattern. I'm gonna poke you. I'm gonna poke you. I'm gonna poke you. You've been poked. Kind of figured he was gonna get a little bit evolution of combated, so that was fine. Okay. We passed our random skill checks. Fair enough. Really glad we walked back and forth across him like three times for some reason. I feel like I gained a lot by my choices as a player. Uh, okay, so what's in this karate? Gross things. What's in this karate? Gross things. Fair enough. in this karate what am i even trying to do again it's been like ten thousand years all right i'm supposed to find the high priest ah here's the old desert classic giant fucking aoe get it bukkake by all three combat styles room here's my boy I guess we're going back there, probably. Still. I'm just gonna find 60 oh, motherfucker. I hate this fucking dude. Surprise, bitch! Particularly interested in pulling a pile of wizards. <laughs> More notes. Don't, 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 don't. Wait to that guy. I want to kill him, but like in a sec. I gotta spawn at warp speed. Okay, so I'm not actually gonna clear this shit out. What are the odds I need to get to all these various chests? Oh my god, this is fucking fun. That's pointless. What do you got? First some documents, boom, copy the log. There's Florida's dialogue is absolutely going to get interrupted, and there's no way I'm going to be able to interact with this. This is kind of one of those, I didn't really think about other game work situations. This is not a viable option. You can't touch the floor here. Because you're in combat constantly. Whatever, it got bullied by my, like a body. We're good. This quest is fucking awful. <laughs> Holy shit. Mages aren't hostile. Ah, yes, hello. I guess he just comes straight in here. I thought I was gonna have to like find other stuff, but I guess I can just go straight here. Ah, yes, hello. Prepare yourself, creature of evil. I am here to vanquish. Aren't we here to explicitly not do that? 
Look, it's, it's been a sec since we started the quest, and I feel like I forgot basically everything. But I feel like... I definitely just did not get healed by my adrenaline because it drained. The dialogue did not stop it from draining, but it did stop my health from going back up, so that's... You know, like... Such is life, I guess. I am here to vanquish you! Are we not explicitly not supposed to kill the High Priest? Was that like the one direction we got at the start of this quest was don't kill the High Priest? Aha, a potential convert! Welcome to the holy... What the fuck is he doing? He's jamming, dude. He's fucking jamming. He's, he's getting in there. <laughs> he's having a moment. But like, what the fuck are you guys even doing? The Church of Scabaras is taking a more active approach with its beliefs. Our long-term solitude will be improved by short-term contact and purging of those who do not follow our ways. I'm as good as that, you. I'm as good are you in here, you dumb hoe. I have discussed this with her representative, yes, and sage advice was given. Advice that I should destroy you before you sought to drag me into your world of interaction. Are you like, are you sure? Are you sure? You don't seem like you're sure. Dude, what the fuck? We just... We were just talking and then you stood there angrily and became a hostile target. I don't remember that! I can't see how I would forget such a thing, though. Aren't you some sort of outsider? Are you sure you're not here to be converted? I have to find exactly the right sequence of dialogues. And I have to poke him every time I'm wrong. Okay. This one went to at least a second chat box. Sounds like Amaska dragged you into heresy for her own ends. I am the high priest of Scabras, accusing me of heresies. Heresy! Ah, potential convert. Welcome to the holy place of contemplation. I will not fight you. You are the high priest. A wise decision. Turn to the ways of Scabras, and you shall have power! Right? This feels weird. Am I going as insane as the High Priest? This, this is a... This place smells very unholy. Like poop. And I'm carrying a bucket of poop, so I know... You dare equate the smell of poop with stench? Your vile blasphemy shall be punished! Ah, potential convert. Welcome to the... Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we make it? Hold on, are you are you good now? Are we good? Did we pass? Did we find the right fucking direction? What can you tell me of the ways of Scabarus? The high priest talks with you at length. Record his words in your journal. Did I win? Do you have any insight to share with me? Be assured, we followers of Scabras will not bother you further. You have clicked the right dialogue buttons. <laughs> I want to defend my nest if you come in here to focus, though. Is that it? Yeah, that's good. You can tell it through. We're good. All right. I got it. Goodbye. I did it. Hooray. I'm a winner.
I won. It might not have been find an exact line. It might just been have been beat him enough times. The priest seems nice. He seems like a nice guy. Excuse me, I was totally made peace. Excuse me. There's peace now. We are, we are piecing. You don't seem like you're piecing. Are you piecing? I figured it was faster to walk back out, but I don't know if that's actually accurate. Hey. Of all the quests, I might have been able to surge over that, but usually it doesn't work on traps. Okay, what song am I supposed to play? I'm supposed to play a song instead of whatever's going on out here. Escape Dark. Here you go, sir. Enjoy. Well, of all the quests in RuneScape 3, this... was one. This is, like, it's, it's such a weird feeling. I'm assuming it's over, but it's like, it's such a weird feeling from this quest. It's like, if you tasked somebody, this quest feels like somebody got given a job or like lost a bet. And then they had to make the worst quest in all of RuneScape. And they tried, but like, they half-assed it. It's got like all the hallmarks of a really, really dog shit quest. But, like it's just, it's just nothing. It's just like, it's, it's like not a quest. It sure feels like they tried. It feels like someone literally sat down and tried to put all of the worst things they could think of into a quest. Like, here's literally just a bunch of random skill checks in a row and a dumbass puzzle for no reason. Here's a very janky boss and a dungeon full of random traps that hit you for bullshit high damage and 50 billion dudes just hitting you with all three combat styles everywhere. And I'm sure when this was released, you couldn't see far enough to see where you were supposed to go, so you just kind of wandered around, and... The first part of it's just like, go, I don't know, do Pyramid Plunder, I don't care. Like... <laughs> it's like they tried to make the worst quest ever, and just didn't do it. I met with the High Priest of Scabarus. Caught him, talked with him. Um, I played Gas, Gas, Gas. And now he said that the followers of Scabarus are going to be cool. Oh, that's 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 great. That's better. Than, that's awesome. Okay, so Maze is not here, so I'm going to paint, right? I will teach you how to make an enchanted water tiara. They're using water runes and a water tiara. And then it will protect you from desert heat, as you have protected the desert from the feast Scabarites. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's that's objectively cool if uh cuz it blocks heat. That's yeah, non-negligible XP, I guess. That's if that's objectively nice if it if I'm doing something it's like out in the desert. Like if for whatever fucking reason I'm doing agility pyramid or I don't, I don't know. If there's an activity in the desert that's worth doing ever, then I can put that on and not have to worry about water skins. So, like, it's... It's removed... It's removed the, uh, the water skins from the game. So, like, that's cool. Oh, the front is the new one. The archaeologist theorized Sophonim was built by the refugees fleeing Ulek. The disaster that befell Ulek left in its wake a large number of undead creatures in the area. Some debate between the two archaeologists as to whether these undead are the result of vile sorcery or simply the result of the uh, use of the area as a graveyard. 
Initial findings suggest the area was once heavily forested. In stark contract to its current desert state, Abigail seems convinced this is due to humans chopping down the trees. Current is the opinion trees regrow so quickly as to make such deforestation impossible. <laughs> Fucking Isle of Mau. And then what did I find in the end? Here we are. A setback. The scarab guardian we left by the chasm was slain. Although no penetration has been made into the nest via this route, we've increased the number of perimeter traps that are considering a full assault on a settlement known as Sofanim. We had reports of an intruder in the vaults before the doors. The area not yet fully set with traps. But visions of scabbers in the guise of a female with red chitin. Now I know what we must do. Destroy everyone for ultimate... So that's like, okay, that's why contact happened, I guess. It's because they sent a little dickhead up on the surface. Do little dickhead stuff. Okay. I mean, the lore is not nothing. It's just the quest was nothing. Um, let me update the wheelio. I gotta replace but Summer's End. It's the last thing we have. Glorious Memories. So, Forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf would be next. Forgiveness is going on there. And this is... Warnings in part two sequel, Isle of Mao. I'll do that someday. Blood Runs Deep. The glorious. Oh, that's the Diaries one. Ah, shit. Loves to fuck. All right. Uh, damn it. Um, King of Son of a Bitch. Okay. Prisoner. The Prisoner of Glaufrey. Damn, I guess they actually like make you do Recipe for Disaster. By the way, not recommended. Did the prerequisites for great brain? Yeah, I've already done that before, so I'm just gonna do that off stream. Um, that's not new. We have two. There are two quests left that aren't new, and it's Morning Zen Part 2, which... <sighs> I guess I gotta fucking do. Should we just set aside a stream and just accept the stream is gonna be boring as fuck? No, I'll do it off stream. I'm just like, I don't want to fuck when I get the time to do an entirety of Morning Zen Part 2 off stream. I don't know where the hell I'm going to find that time. I don't know. I need to get it done, though. We got two left. These are the last two repeats from old school. It's just these two. And then all the recommended, or all the not recommended ones. I'll try and find some time. That's hard. Free time is how many parts left of RFD? Everything but Pirate Pete. No, I did Lumberge Guide also. Just because I remembered it being actually kind of funny. I don't remember any of Recipe for Disaster being a huge pain in the ass, except obviously giant asterisk on a woogie fucking... I remember that shit taking forever. I gotta make the Zook knock run at least one more time because I gotta go get 50 more Grigris with all the various bones of different monkeys. I think I have some monkey bones in my bank. I kept something. I have bearded gorilla bones. So I have Big Lad. I need to get Ninja and Zombie and then I have to do the Zook knock run again to turn all three of those into Grigrises. And then, uh... That's... The really shitty part of a woogie, I guess, is just getting all the Grigris and figuring out what to do. I remember what to do. 